Hello, everybody. Happy Friday night. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Thanks for being here. Last Friday of 2022, right, D. Hewitt? Happy New Year's Eve, Eve. All right. I'll be right back. Let's play the trailer. And we'll see you guys in just a second. <laughs> How is everybody tonight? Is everybody good? Did you have a good productive day? I hope so. Let's say hi to some of our friends. We're going to have a nice, easy night tonight, you guys, because um, I had a very busy day. So hi, Carrie. Welcome in. Hey, Christopher. Hey, Tonya. Carrie, I um, was just texting with Peggy's husband. Peggy um, is not feeling well. Just leave it at that. She's not feeling well. So you guys, everybody, we're asking for prayers for Peggy for tonight. That's why she hasn't been around. So let's, uh, we'll send her up in case she's watching or her husband's watching. We'll send up some prayers to you, Peggy. We miss you very, very much if you're watching and get better soon, honey. We miss you in the chat. Hi, Tanya. Thanks for coming in. Francis, welcome in, sweetheart. Joanne, hi, honey. Dora, my friend. Hello, hello. Hey, D and Lynn, welcome in. Shaney, Carol, hi, Cece. Penny Smith, hello, everyone. She says, thanks for being here. Shannon, I gave you a wrench, honey. You've got a wrench now. JC, I hope uh, you got that straightened out with um, the question that you asked earlier. Um, there's Heidi. Oops, let's put this back on full screen. James Cisco, how are you, honey? Where have you been? We miss you. We miss you. We miss you. C. Johnson, you were funny last night in Saxton's Whatnot Live. I didn't know it was you. Hope you got some rest. Hope to see you soon. I'm being a nurse tonight watching on mute. I work from home, so nice to have live people in the room with me. All right, honey. Well, hi, C. Johnson, if you're watching on mute. Clearwater Thrifts. Hello, hello, honey. Hello, auction friends, she says. Mr. J, hello, hello. There's Saxton. Saxton, I thought you were live. She probably still is live. She just came in to say hello. Hi, Shiny. How are you? 
Hi, Darlene. Hope you're well. Does this trailer just keep getting longer and longer? Well, I, I did it for two minutes kind of on purpose so that um, people will get the notification. Maybe the next one I'll make shorter, Darlene. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Dee. How are you? Hey, Joni. I think I'm saying it right. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Hi, Mary. Vintage Chick is in the house. Welcome in. Hi, Melissa. How's the baby? I didn't get any pictures today. I need updates. I need updates on the baby. Hey, Joey Lee. Where'd you disappear to? I know you went to go visit family, right? You're back? Welcome back to the chat. Hi, Lucinda. There's T. Auctions for you. You guys, if you're not subscribed to T, please do. She's um, T and I will be going on live and uh, make sure that you are subscribed to T. There's Kate. Hello, Kate. And let's see. Angela. Hi, honey. How are you? How's the family? I hope everything's well. Thanks for coming in. It's good to see you. I think that you were sick last time I talked to you. So, hi, Denise. How are you, honey? <laughs> see, Johnson, that was funny. Kenneth Young, welcome in. You think so? Okay, good. Hi, Heidi. How are you, honey? 9.13, just a quickie. Then I'll be back after. All right, thanks, Saxton. Um, I will look tight lines. I'll look and see if I have it. Hi, Camille. I just got off the phone with Camille. <clears throat> Good talking to you, sweetheart. She was supposed to come down today. Naughty Camille. She canceled on me. I need you. I need you, Camille. Hi, Joanne. Let's see who else is strolling in. Hi, Patricia. Thanks for the nice message last night on my um, on my community post when I said I wasn't going live. And you too, Miss Martha. Thank you so much. Hey, Ruth. How are you, honey? And Leslie, welcome in. Castaway girl. Thank you. Yeah, so we were part of the cancellations with Southwest and had to drive back and then had a two-day delay to even get a car. Oh, my goodness, what a fiasco because of all the bad weather, right? Hi, Simi. Welcome in. All right, I'm at the bottom. Okay, let me go check um, tight lines and see if, if there's anybody else in the chat that needs um, a wrench if you sent a registration. Um, now would be a good time to let me know so that I can look and see. Hi, Froggy, Ribbit. Uh, Melissa says, T, my bat matchbox car lot is awesome. Chevelle, okay, honey, I'll get you a wrench too. All right, let's see. All right, tight lines, you have yours, Chevelle. I don't need to look for yours because I know that you are registered. Donna, I'm so excited to get my new purse pocketbook handbag. <laughs> Looks like you have more. I did. I put some more on, on the wall. I shipped yours, didn't I, Carol? I think I sh I think you were the one one of the ones that I shipped can't remember what I shipped and what I didn't ship. Donna got my World's Fair package yesterday. Amazing. I just love it. Oh, good, Kate. Thank you, honey. I may be cutting my trip short as they are predicting another bad snowstorm in the next week. Hmm. Tis the season. Don't worry, you guys that are living in the cold states. It will... Spring will be here before you know it. I always feel like after Christmas is like when we make the turn. And then I know, I know January and February is like really, really bad with snowstorms and stuff. But I always felt like after Christmas, it was like we were working towards um, 
snowed most of the day. Oh, I didn't ship it yet. Okay. All right. I'll ship it tomorrow since you're, you're anxious to get it. I'll ship it tomorrow. Let me write that down so that I see, see, once her purse, I'll ship it tomorrow. Cause I'll be shipping all, all morning. Hey, vintage chick March in Oklahoma is nice. Yeah. It's um 73 degrees here tonight in South Florida. Just keep the snow and the cold away from here, right? It was cold last week, James, wasn't it? It was so cold, but thank goodness it was only for just a few days. Now the beautiful warm weather is back. It was amazing today. It was so sunny and beautiful. And it was really awesome. Yes, the post offices are closed on Monday. So I'll have to do as much of my shipping as I can tomorrow morning to get them out. Otherwise they'll be here till Tuesday, but I'll get, I'll get a bunch of them out tomorrow. I got a, I got a bunch out today. I'll get a bunch out tomorrow too. Hi Pam. It was spring here in Connecticut, 65 degrees, bright and sunny. Awesome. It was 54 in Massachusetts today. Pulled the flip flops out. You go girl. <laughs> hmm. Can I ask for prayers from my nephew? Nephew's new baby. They moved him to NICU for an infection. Oh, I'm sorry, Shannon. Yes, let's send up prayers for the baby, you guys. So sad. The NICU is, is the NICU is so so sad. You know, I used to always say, you want to really put your life in perspective, walk through a oncology unit and go to a NIC unit, and it your life will forever change. If you've never done that your life will forever change. Yes, prayers, prayers for the baby. I hate, I hate to hear anybody being sick, especially a baby, a helpless, sweet little baby. Yes. All right, you guys. So we are all hoping for a good new year, right? No, um, New Year's doesn't always, um, okay, let me just tell her that I'm live. Hold on before she continues to text. Um, okay. I need a wrench, please. And thank you. Hey, Lynn, welcome in, sweetheart. Thank you for coming in. Let me check and see. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, New Year's is not, you know, a happy place for everyone. I mean, I can see, I can say for me, oh, we're neighbors, kind of, <laughs> a, flower, a fellow Florida person. Thank goodness not another uh, West Coast person. <laughs> Welcome in, Lynn. Thank you. Here's your wrench. Um. For me, it means another year. Like I always think of like the day Denali died and then January 1st. I feel like I always have like January 1st means it's another year without my son. So it's like, you know, we living it twice every year. It's like twice. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Welcome back. Agreed, Donna. I had, I had to have iron transfusions and I was an oncology clinic. I always felt so blessed that I was only there for low iron. I know, right, Shiny? Hi, Mary. Oh, Mary, you're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, it's not, it's not happy new year. For the longest time, I couldn't say, hi, Penny, welcome in. For the longest time, I couldn't say happy birthday. I couldn't say happy New Year's. I couldn't say happy anniversary. Like I, I couldn't even like say the word happy for a really, really long time. So I've gotten better. You know, it changes with time. It doesn't get easier, but it changes with time. Hi, bag lady. Hello, Miss Van Tassel. What are we selling tonight? I'm going to try to do a combination of all sorts of things. I'm going to do some ephemera. I did find some more, some more um, World's Fair stuff. 
I'm going to do some ephemera. I'm going to do some craft lots, um, some like jewelry craft lots. There was somebody who said to give them an estimate on the rest of the toys that I have. I don't remember who that was. I said that I would send an estimate, but um, I have them here. So I hope that person is here. Bolo buddies. Did I skip you, honey? I'm sorry. The channel ambassador. <laughs> you guys, Courtney just released a, um, hey, crazy maze. Courtney just released a update video on her perfume and makeup video. And ironically, uh, we spent about, when I say we, um, one of my daughter's friends, Lacey, um, and I, she did most of the work. We made up a bunch of makeup bags <laughs> that have um, some unused makeup. Um, I'll show you what they are. I've sold them in the past and have done really well. So it was really, uh, really funny that Courtney released that video today. But these bags are being sold mostly for for personal use and shiny, you might want to take advantage of a couple of these bags for your girls because you know what it's like to go to, to CVS. I mean, I know with me going to CVS means buying four things, five things. And it's like, you know, almost a hundred dollars. I was watching that video just now. I only do empty perfume bottles if I do. Yeah. So it's a great video, you guys. It's it's full of information. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole video. Um, I like my last one from you, Donna. Thank you, Vintage Chick. Yeah, it's just an assortment of um, different makeups, and it's it's fun because it a lot of them are like just like little trial size things. So it kind of gives you the opportunity to um, try different things, and if you like it, then you can go buy it. Bag lady, so did I. I stopped wearing makeup. Hey, Markies. I stopped wearing... Hi, Paul. How are you, honey? Thanks for coming in. I stopped wearing makeup um, years and years ago. I stopped wearing makeup. I used to wear makeup all the time when I when I worked, you know, in the, in the design industry. I used to get dressed up and I used to wear makeup every day. And then I got married and stopped, really stopped wearing makeup when the kids were born. I, I wore very, very little makeup. And then, of course, when Denali got diagnosed, I just threw the whole makeup thing out the window. And I, yeah, the, I have some good brands in here. I threw the whole makeup thing. CVS, try Sephora, Dillard's, all I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I, I know, I know. But they still, they still go to, uh, my kids still go to CVS. And, um, and I only just started wearing makeup again when um, I started going live on YouTube. I decided to start wearing lipstick and a little bit of, um, you know, mascara. And hi, Heather. How are you? Are you better driving but here? Okay, well, be careful. She must be on her way home from work. Tears and makeup don't work. Exactly. Exactly. Find a cool perfume used bottle. Empty it and list unless new sealed and such yes yep some people will buy the perfume guys just for the bottle there's a lot of people that collect perfume bottles especially some of the old ones they're even some of them are like lalique crystal and you'd be really surprised so um don't be afraid to if you see old perfume out in the wild don't be afraid to buy it if it's a really good price. Just dump the perfume out of it and, and, and you can sell it. You can list it as a, um, I think you can list it as a collectible. Courtney can correct me um, on that. But some people, hi, Jody. Some people love um, just the perfume bottles. And some, some perfume bottles are like a work of art. They're absolutely beautiful. And if I sell perfume to you, which from time to time I do have perfume, if I sell perfume perf perfume to, to you, then you just be the judge as to whether or not you want to empty it out or um, um, do as you please with it. Hi, Laura. Happy last Friday of 2022, everyone. 
else stoked about what 2023 has in store for us. I've got some goals and some big plans for 2023. Empty bottles only under collectibles. I think that's what I said. Yes. Um, yeah, Kate, I don't know about putting it on Makari. I think you want to go watch uh, Courtney's video about that. Penny, um, let me see if Penny has a wrench. Courtney, have done everything needed to place bids. Penny, did you fill out a registration, honey? Is that what you mean? Or are you having um, a conversation with Bolo Buddies about something? Let's see if I have a registration for Penny. Well, I have one, two, three pennies on here, but I have last names. So I don't know if, if one of them is you. you. Your YouTube channel name is just Penny. I don't know if you put your, um, I don't know if you filled out a registration, if you put um, your last name. So I won't know which one is you. So if, if you do fill out a registration under YouTube name, you just want to put Penny. Um, let's see. I bought each of my daughters a vintage perfume bottles and hair receivers. They love your idea and gave me to throw your hair to the wind for the birds, for the bird's nest. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, shiny. <laughs> Yes. And it keeps the hair out of like the bathroom floor and stuff too. You know, we all have long hair. So, um, Hey, Christopher, Mr. I buy jet Christopher. Thank you for the good morning. That was, uh, that was so nice of you to think of me this morning. Right, darling. I have goals, personal and business. You go Shannon. I'm all about goals. I used to, before I bought the reseller cottage, man, I used to come on here and I used to be like, goals, goals, goals. I always was like, always screaming out goals. All right. Did I miss anybody? Everybody, welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. All right, so was the person that was interested in the toys, are you in the chat? I can't remember who it was. I don't know if it was JC or who it was. I told him about the makeup bags. <laughs> well, someone said that they loved their... Hi, Francine. Hi, honey. Someone said that they loved their last makeup bag. Yes. Lacey's excited about me showing the makeup bags. <laughs> she worked really hard making them, you guys. <laughs> she she was like, she had everything like all spread out. And she's like, I want them to be equal. I want everybody to get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. She was really cute. She did. Hi, Laurie Fox. How are you, honey? My goals is to keep up with my goals, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, JC Realty was interested in them. Okay. All right. Well, you'll have an opportunity to buy them tonight because I'm going to, I'm probably going to pile them on the table and, and just auction them off. And I'm going to try to sell, I'm going to see probably all one shot hanging with the family. So I'm muted. All right, Laurie. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Laurie, for having us playing. KJ, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. Let me know if you filled out a registration. Oh, you have a wrench. You have a wrench. You already did fill out a registration. Thank you. Welcome back. I feel like it's not a name that I see very often. KJ O Ranch. So welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, guys. So, um, for the newbies, you guys, just uh, bear with me while I go over just a couple of things. We're probably going to do mostly 15-second countdowns tonight. Um, I don't have Peggy 
and I know Heather is driving home. So, hey, Swamp, welcome in. Donna, my phone did that when I put it on charge. Your phone did what? I don't know what your phone did. I don't know if I missed something. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Susan Arrington. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, 15 second countdown. So I'm going to need someone to help me with the sold in the chat. Uh, maybe until Heather gets home, then maybe Heather can jump on and help me. Um, who can call solds? Gypsy, come here. Give me chips. She's just staring at me. Thanks, Vintage Chick, for the tip. Let's see what Vintage Chick said. What did you say, Vintage Chick? I want to know what the tip is, too. I don't see it. I see you saying hello. Hmm. Hey, Mary Seller. Welcome in, honey. Lynn, you want to try? All you have to do is just write the word sold when I say sold. I spied Mickey or Minnie behind you. Yeah, so cute. Oh, it was a private message. Ah, okay. That's why I don't see it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. I'm like, what did she say? I don't see it. 15 second countdown, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count. I'm going to show an item and I'm going to count it down. When I'm, while I'm showing it, you can go ahead and put a bid in the chat, uh, put your highest bid, what you're willing to pay, and then I'm going to start counting it down when I'm done showing it from 15 to 1. And once I reach number 1, then Lynn is going to say sold, and whoever comes in above Lynn's sold is going to win the item, and then we have... Thank you, Carrie. You're amazing. Thank you so much for all your help. If you could just copy the stop sign with the sold and the stop sign, Lynn, that will be great. And you can just put it in the chat. Oh, 45 minutes. Okay, honey, take your time. Take your time. Um, when you see that sold, the item is going to be sold. And then Carrie actually which is right there, Carrie, she's going to be our verifier and she's going to let us know who actually won the item because I'm live and you guys are watching me. So sometimes I see things a little bit different than you see things. So Carrie is on your viewing side. So she'll be able to let us know. There it is. So Lynn is going to be doing the sold and Carrie is going to be the verifier. Um, and she'll let you know who actually won the item. Just buyer beware. If you both put in the same number at the same time, you're always going to see yours first because that's the way the YouTube algorithm works. That's why we have Carrie to let us know, hey, Follies are in the house. How are you, honey? And um, she'll let us know who the winner is. So if you see something that you really, really like, don't be afraid to put an extra dollar or $2 in your bid so that you don't lose it for a dollar or two. Okay, everybody follow me over to the top of the chat and where you see the word top chat, you wanna click on that little arrow and you wanna, the, uh, the, there's gonna be a drop down bar and you wanna click on live chat. You wanna stay on live, hi Gypsy, hi Dawn, welcome in. You wanna stay on live chat the whole night, you wanna check that. Um, and you want to refresh often. And the way you refresh is if you close out the chat, you guys, you will see a little box at the bottom of the screen. Um, and it'll have a little red dot next to it. You want that dot to be illuminated red. If it's not illuminated red, then you're lagging and you want to click on the live and, um, that will bring you up to speed to everyone. And Clearwater is reminding me no comps in the chat and guesses about reselling prices. Thank you, Clearwater. Yes, it's not fair to the person that's bidding. It's not fair to me. 
It's not fair to the other people that they're bidding on the item. You can't say things like, oh, that's worth a lot of money or that's not worth enough money or that's not worth or they're, they're selling those for that price on eBay or anything like that. Like Just no comps in the chat. You don't know why people are buying things. People could be buying things for personal use. Um, not everyone that comes and watches is a reseller. We have a lot of people in the chat that buy for personal use. So, yes, don't um, don't put any co comps in the chat. Hi, Andrew. Welcome in, sweetheart. I hope you're well. Marilyn Blatt, I'm fresh. I am very fresh, girl. Laugh out loud. Love you. Why? What do you? What'd you do, Marilyn? What did you do, honey? All right. All right, you guys, so shipping, $40 purchase gives you free shipping. If you don't think you're going to spend $40, just reach out to me and let me know, um, and I'll charge you shipping and, and get your item out right away. But you need to let me know, because if when I look on my shelf and I see, say, for example, Mar we'll just use Marilyn for an example, say Marilyn Blatt for $14. I just, I go to the next order that looks like it may have, um, you know, $45 on it or $50 and I'm going to ship that order out. But Marilyn may have paid me shipping to get her order out. And I'm not going to know that unless you tell me, because I'm not going to look at the PayPal account to let me know um, mm -hmm. that that's what happened. And speaking of PayPal account, please, please, please let me know somewhere in the comment section or let me know live if you're using someone else's PayPal account um, that does not have the same name as yours. I have a lot of payments that come in um, and I already struggle with a lot of people have different email addresses. Some people have an email address, including myself, that they use, like you can contact me at auctions by Donna, but yet my PayPal email address is the give 11 at yahoo.com. So I'm guilty of it myself. Um, so if you're using an email address that doesn't have your name on it, please let me know because I had a jewelry box that had not gone out and the person paid for it with someone else's uh, PayPal account and it got buried and I didn't know. And I was looking for a payment under the other email address. So it's, you know, it, it's, it's complicated. You guys, what I do, it's complicated. And, um, someday, someday I'll do a video of like exactly the steps that I have to take when I'm, when I am shipping out an order, maybe I'll do a live working hangout or something. So No, it wasn't you, Marky. Well, I haven't gotten to your order yet because you're not at 40. You're you're on the shelf. It was somebody else. Donna, I followed your auction style. Now, when I give a private dance, I demand instant payment. No more IOUs. <laughs> Christopher. Christopher, you were taking IOUs. <laughs> oh, Christopher. <laughs> but Marky, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a note of that and know that um, your email address is different. I'll take a look at it. Donna, I can't fathom how you do all you do. You motivate me. Oh, thank you, honey. I am. Um, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm Mark and my wife is Sarah. Okay, I will look for an email payment with those names. It's a lot, honey. I, I don't stop. Honestly, I don't stop. And T works just as hard as I do. But I really, like, honestly, like, I go, 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 go. You like that, Folly? My daughter loved that. My daughter loved that video. That was, um, I did a slow motion. That was us driving that night to go see the moon in, in um, Juno Beach and those, that road is so beautiful. And um, I heard that man, like, I heard that, I heard it on, I don't know, like, I don't know if I heard it on YouTube or where I heard him say that. And it just, just the way he, he, he spoke, like it just, like it, 
it hit me like it. Hi, Melody. How are you, honey? It just, it spoke volumes to me, right? After my first one not hour of selling, I had a whole new respect for Donna and T. Ah, oh, vintage chick. Yeah, right? And what not selling? I, I was talking to Saxton about this. She she did a she did a um a whatnot last night and she sold um patches and and she was like you know, doing her shipping and literally just putting a patch in an envelope, putting a label on it and shipping it out. Like with whatnot, you're doing like single items. When I have to do my packages, oh my gosh, are you kidding? <laughs> They're huge. My reseller lots are huge. Saxton was saying today, I'll never do reseller lots. I'll never do reseller lots. They're huge. And it's a lot of work to get them all packed up. Treat your business like your business speaks to me as well. I love that motto that she has. Absolutely. All right, bag lady. All right, so free shipping, no comps in the chat, 15 second countdown. Um, I will take special request. If you see something in the back that you want me to, to present to you, I will present it. I still have quite a few beautiful, gorgeous pocketbooks left. Um, I added in a couple of more. I have a one of my favorite, favorite, all-time favorite designers. And I actually had that bag in black that I used. Laugh out loud. Well, we give cards to and put them in the bags. But yeah, big lots are so much more. Are you kidding me? She's talking about putting a card in with her patch. <laughs> Um, the Disney, that's a, uh, Dooney Bork, uh, Disney bag. That's a Mark Jacobs. Um, I don't remember what that is. I don't remember what that is. So yeah, there's, there's some, there's some pretty stuff up there tonight. Um, there may be awesome scroll moments during an auction. Yes, Lynn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And I have my little squirrels. Look at, I have this, that little tiny one sitting here. I have, I have squirrels all over. I love yeah. my squirrels. And I have this little squirrel sitting here. And of course, I've got my Mac Daddy of Mac Daddy squirrels on my windowsill from PM that I absolutely love. And in the late afternoon, the sun, that window faces the um west and the sun comes in through that window and it casts like rainbows oh my gosh pam i love my squirrels so much i love it i love it i love it i love it i collect otters really more squirrels might be coming <laughs> did someone say squirrel <laughs> it has um yeah, the world the word squirrel really has two meanings. Number one, I have a lot of squirrel moments where I'm talking about one thing and then all of a sudden I think of something else. And um <laughs> and uh you guys know my my son, my son Denali used to always yell squirrel to Boston and used to drive Boston crazy. Oh, Kate, I had, I had purchased an incredible collection of birds. Someone sold one of the birds um, and put it on Bolo Buddies. They were all like very special birds. They were beautiful. Um, oh, and you know, <laughs> It's going to all depend on T because she collects these, but I am, I'm making kind of a large purchase on, I think Sunday, I think it's going to happen on Sunday. It's kind of far. So I have to go drive there to go get it and I have to bring bubble wrap and wrap it all up. But, um, I'm actually, um, oh, it's like, it's like nylon parachute material castaway. It's awesome. I carried that bag in black during my kids entire volleyball years i would like fill it with food and bottles and snacks it's really awesome and that one's a pink one um oh mimi's up there can you come get this cat get down mimi 
That's my daughter's cat. Mimi, get down. She just climbed up there. Do you want to show them your New Year's Eve dress? Do you want me to? Yeah. You want to see Angelina's New Year's Eve dress? Yes, it's Angelina's cat. All right, come on. Are you sure? Yes, you look beautiful. And she's wearing she's wearing like black nylons. Here, stand on your tippy toes so they can see your nylons. See? She's wearing like black nylons. It's all sparkly. And she's going up to a college. Where are yeah. you going? Uh Orlando uh Jacksonville. To where? UNF. She's going to UNF. Is she is it like a is it like it's a fraternity a, or something no, party? It's a really, really small, chill school. Very small school. All right. I worry. Isn't it beautiful? She she got it. She her mother's got so many beautiful clothes here. And she she went and bought that at Forever 21. Okay, now step away from the jewelry. You've got plenty. Step away, step away. She's looking to accessorize her beautiful dress. No, 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 that's going up for sale. Give me, give me, give me. Mm -mm. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> she was just looking at this uh, abalone and alpaca bracelet. And those are rosaries. You definitely give me those. Don't touch the rosaries. I don't want them to catch fire in your hands. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Do you like this necklace with it? Yes, I love that necklace with that. Right. It's beautiful. It's just perfect. Thank you. Bali, she's got the best hair. She just she just came in. She was at the mall and she just came in from the mall and she had it tied up on a on on the top of her head like in a messy bun and she had all these ringlets all around her face and she was she looks so beautiful. Chessie's beautiful too. They're both beautiful. There's the one one thing my husband and I did right is we we made beautiful children together. She looks just like my husband. My husband's very handsome. We we made beautiful children. Okay. So, with all that being said, um let's have an auction. Thank you, bag lady. Yeah. Inside and out, too. Inside and out. Oh, thank you, Folly. She um, finally tell Chesy she can borrow my jewelry. <laughs> she am a Latin nerd. Very blessed you guys are. In a way, Marky. In a way, honey. In a way. I, I don't always. I don't always feel that way. I, I try. I try to count my blessings, honey. I do. I try. I try really, really hard to count my blessings, but. I feel like I was really, I was really shorted, you know. Yes, you, you are Shannon. We see you. They have class act parents. Oh, thank you, bag lady. Thank you, honey. Thank you. So yeah, so we have, uh, we have a, another permanent roommate here at the reseller cottage. Lacey has moved in who is a, a young lady that I've basically have been uh, raising since she was like six years old. So she's moved into the master bedroom here at the reseller cottage with Angelina until the end of the school semester. And then she'll be moving over to the West Coast to Florida to be with her dad, but she wants to stay here and finish. So um, I let her move in here because at my other house, the upstairs is still not done. I was, Carrie. Thank you for understanding that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Welcome in. Let's see. Does Kay have a wrench? You do. Thank you. All right. You guys, if there's anybody that needs a wrench, now would be a time to, to say something in case you see something that you want to um, bid on. Now would be a time. Um, and... I guess I will go get those toys and we'll do those toys first. How does that sound? I raised a few of my kids' friends too. Proud of all my kids. You did? Brock, dark brown purse on top. 
Um, you want me to you want me to show that one first? I'll show that one first. All right, and then we'll get the toys. And then we'll get the toys. This one or this one with the feathers? Let's do this one first. Let's do this one and see if there's any interest in this one. Okay. So there it is. Oh, done because Denali died. Oh, you sent a registration, Penny? Okay, let me go look at Penny's registration. All right, Penny, thank you, honey. You're good. Let me give you a registration. And Cindy, did you send in a registration? Here's your wrench, Penny. Welcome to the family, honey. And Cindy, let me know if you decide to register. You sent in you sent one in and Carol you sent one in too. All right, honey, thanks. Let me go look. And to, to, Toy, you sent one. Let's see. Cindy, we'll check Cindy first. And don't forget, you guys, when you're registered here, you're also registered with T when she goes live. Her link is down below. Um Okay, Cindy, 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 Cindy. Um, Cindy, you used the wrong name, sweetheart. So you will be, it will be hard for us to find you. Your YouTube name is actually your first and last name, but you put your YouTube name as um, Cindy Gone Two, which is like, yeah, so it's just so if you can fill out another one, I'm going to give you a wrench. But if you can fill out another one, um, that would be great because it will be hard to find you. And we'll get rid of that one. But here's your wrench. And Carol. Carol, you guys bear with me while I just do this really quick. Um, let's see if Carol, if you just sent it, then it hasn't populated yet. go to the bottom of the form okay Carol thank you I have yours and here's your wrench and toy um toy I need um, if you don't mind going in and just putting the complete address in, I just have um, a word and a number. So I need the complete address, please. If you don't mind going in and doing that, filling out a new one, but I'm going to give you a wrench and let me know when you did that, when you did, when you do it. Um, Okay, let's see. Thank you, Carol. Uh, making sure I have a wrench. It's been a while. Valley Ann, welcome, honey. Welcome back. Let's see if you have a wrench. Let's see if you have a registration. Um... Yes. And here's your wrench. Thank you for your registration. And Crafty Jack Crochet. Let's see if we have one for you. Sorry, guys. Talk amongst each other. Crafty Jack, thank you. Okay, we have one for you too. Thank you for coming in. And I gave you your wrench. Hi, Sue. How are you, honey? All right. Is there anybody else before we start? 
my favorite finds i filled out a form so can i get a wrench yes did you just fill it out let me see if you're at the bottom or if you are my favorite finds thank you and let me give you a wrench all right Went to the ER uh, last night after waiting four hours. I left. Oh, no, see me. I'm sorry. I hope it wasn't anything serious. How are you doing today, Carrie? Got to keep the chat up amongst ourselves. <laughs> yeah, just talk amongst each other. Oh. Sue B. Hi, Donna. I have a wrench, but I changed my YouTube name. Do you need a new registration? Yes, Subi, please. Yes, 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 because we won't be able to find you. You guys, if you change your YouTube name, um, you have to fill out a new registration form. Otherwise, we won't be able to find you. Yes, I gave you a wrench, my favorite finds. Thank you, honey. Okay, thank you, Subi. Thank you, Christopher, for helping. All right, I think we're done. Are we good? All the newbies got wrenches? Everybody that needs a wrench? Guys, if you're watching in, in the background, don't be afraid to say hello. This is a really, really great bunch of people. Like I always say to people when I tell them what I do, I always say it's just it's just a really, really nice place to hang out, like on a Friday night or a Sunday night. You don't have to buy anything. It's just, it's nice to be able to be in a chat and to have a live chat and, you know, people chatting with each other and, you know, chat about your reselling businesses or whatever you want to chat about. You know, it's, um, it's just a fun place to be. So it has, it has the strap. As you can see, it's never been used. It's brand new. I'll put it on this camera. I'm going to start it at 30. I'm going to start it at 30. Thank you, Denise. I'm going to start this one at 30. And um, I think we're going to, we have a lot of stuff to sell tonight, guys. So I'm just going to take my chances and I'm going to do a 15 second countdown on even these beautiful purses. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh, thank you, bad lady. Thank you, honey. Um, it's got it's got the knobs, and it's American West, and it has the fringe on the side, and there's the inside. It's got two pockets, and. Oh, good, Kenneth. Yep, keep working. That's the best thing is you can just work. And if you see something that you like, you can just step away from your work. And just keeps you company. I wish I had, I always say, I wish I had a place like this. Yes, it's brand new. These are all brand new. So the story, the story behind these purses, it has a pocket on the outside and it's, uh, the hardware is marked as well. The story behind these purses is that these came, the woman was uh, part of the production team. So they worked with the designers. So you may not find some of these purses listed online because some of these purses actually never went to production. They're one of a kind. Some of them you might find, but some of them, um, are just they just uh were samples right uh you saw the other night some of them had sample written right on them um that that they didn't um they didn't go to production so let me give you a measurement on this and then i'm going to start counting it down it's 12 13 14 14 and a half 15 inches by um eight and a half inches prototypes yep prototypes will samples you know samples be that 
Some of them I think went to production, some of them didn't. And I'm gonna start counting it down. The work on it is absolutely beautiful. This has got like a pebbled leather. Some of them are, are hand tooled. This one doesn't have any hand tooling on it. 15, 14, 13, 10, 11. No, 11, 10, sorry. <laughs> uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I know, right, Carrie? 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, a little too much copy. 1, and we're going to be sold. We're going to be sold, sold, sold. Lot number one, pocketbook, is going to go to 1D for 35. Thank you, Wendy. Oh, really? Your doctor told you you could visit the garden. Wendy Nicholson. Wendy, is this your first win with me? I think it might be. Congratulations. If it's not, I'm sorry. She's like, no, Donna, I've bought from you many times. No, I don't know if she said that. Yes, it is her first win. Okay, <laughs> congratulations. I thought so. The garden is a big no-no in Idaho. Everybody visits the garden down here in Florida. I don't even know if it's legal or not, to be honest with you. I don't keep track of that stuff. I have no idea. All right, let's do this one. There was a request for this one. This one is awesome. It's a Dooney, and let me show it to you. It's not legal, okay. Um, this is how big it is. It's a crossbody. It's very, very cute, and let's take a look at it. This one I don't believe is new, so let's examine it really well. Make sure that there's no flaws. I will point out any flaws that I see. But all sales are final. I don't see any scratches. It looks beautifully clean. Let's check out the strap. The strap is beautiful. Denise says the bottom. The bottom is beautiful. The inside looks clean. It's got the multicolored zipper on it. And the inside looks very clean to me. It's got several... Um, zippered areas. Okay, guys, I'm going to count it down. And we are going to go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to be sold. Little K. Hi, honey. 102 to Christopher. We're going to be sold, sold, sold for the beautiful Dooney. 
Christopher gets it from 102. Awesome, Christopher. Thank you, everyone, for your bids. That's lot number two. All right, Christopher. Awesome. Oh no, Castaway Girl is, is lagging. Someone could tell Castaway Girl that she's lagging. She missed it. And see, guys, I sometimes I lose money doing the 15 second countdown because look at how much money I just lost. Right? Okay. This one is a 31 wallet. Look how pretty that is. It's a little wristlet. Okay, let's look. Look. It's not passing the scratch test. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and sell this anyways because guess what? That can be replaced. And I think the rest of it is fine. So you have to buy it for personal use unless you can find this. But you see what happens? Always check. Always do your, um, your scratch test. All right. Very pretty. There's the inside of it. Somebody wants it for personal use. Denise comes in at 5, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the 31 wallet is going to be sold, sold, sold. It looks like KK got it. KK for 19. Thank you, KK. KK, your package almost went out today. See, I'm glad it didn't. Now I can put this in it and helps me with the shipping. Lot number three, honey. For the wallet. All right. Let's do something other than purses so that some of the guys don't get like bored. I'm going to just pull this up. Donna, explain about lag. So you always want to be on live chat, not sold as being posted immediately after Donna says it. Um, wait. When do you click on um, the give on the very top, it says the give 11 at yahoo.com. Just copy that and paste it into your PayPal account and you can send it to me. Thanks, Jerry. Donna will check. Let's see. Do I have to register and how new to this? Janet, welcome, honey. Yes, you should set, you should fill out a registration at the top. And Jerry sent the registration. All right, Jerry, let me see. Okay, Jerry, I have your registration. I see it. Thank you so much. And let's see. Okay, Heather, thank you. Oh, Lynn, nobody's going to hate you. What's going on with the... um um? Is, is was there something going on, Carrie, with um you are doing perfect. Was somebody lagging? Is that what happened? And um you just always want to make sure that you're on live chat, guys. It's very, very important to be on live chat. Okay, let's see. So this is going to be one lot.
Um, I don't know where she put the toys. Hold on, guys. Lucy, where'd you put the toys? I don't, I'm not finding them. The toys, all of the, the carded toys. They're on the chair? Yeah, all of them are on the chair. Oh, I see them. All right, guys, here we go. So this will be one lot. I might add to it. And it is going to be a 15-second countdown. Jerry said she sent it. Let me see. Didn't I give Jerry a wrench already? Who do I have to give a wrench to? Um, Jerry, you have a wrench. Um, does anybody else need one? Yes, Marky, absolutely. Okay, am I good? All right, is everybody okay? Is everybody good? Okay. So, here's your first one. It's a Star Wars C3PO, I think. Is that who it is? Yeah, CP3O. Then I have on I have Ghost Rider. I have Rocket Raccoon. I have Guardians of Guardians of the Galaxy, and there's three there's three copies in here. And then there's one, two, three, four copies in here. Do these have multiple copies? No. So there's one, two, and then there's looks like three. Oh, looks like three in there. I'll open them if you want me to, and there's I think four in there on those. Then I have uh, Star Wars. Start this at $30, you guys. $30, but I'm going to count it down, so get your bids in quick. Here's a Phantom Menace. And Star Wars, the Black Series. Mandalorian. Mandalorian and this one is Rouge One, I guess. I don't know. Here is Hodo. Guys, I can't pronounce these names. I'm lucky I can pronounce regular names. Never mind these crazy names. And this one is Princess Leia. That one I can say. She's beautiful in this one. Look how pretty she is. There's that one. And then this one is Light Seekers Awakening on that one. And. Obi on this one. 
Wait, am I missing something? What is going on? What's going on? Christopher, thank you. Janet, do I have a new registration? Did I miss? Janet, make a, make a comment, honey, so I can give you. Okay, there you are. Thank you for your registration. Um, did I do something to upset some, someone? I hope not. Hi, Tony. Okay. Hi, Kenneth Young. Proceed, Donna. <laughs> Did you check? Okay. I don't know what's going on, so I'm going to keep going. Somebody will have to tell me later what's going on because I don't know. I didn't, I missed it. Let me just move this camera back a little bit. I just hope I didn't do something that upset someone. If I did, I apologize. Hi, Beetle Gal. <laughs> Beetle Gal. Did I? I didn't talk about politics. <laughs> okay, Pokemon. This is a play mat for Pokemon. Trading card game. And you get one, two, and three of those and then this is a puzzle let me just see if it's open because the seal is broken on it no i don't believe it's been opened it's stapled it's stapled so I don't know. You'll have to take your chances on it. It's called Palace of Dreams. That's going to go in with it. And let me see if there's anything else I can throw in this lot. There's this triple play space jam is going to go in with it and this scrabble turbo slam is going to go with it well, let me see if i can put anything else in it This is a, um, let me just, it's a Marvel Comics, it's a fleece throw, it looks like it's not open, this is a little bit, it looks like a cut fringe tie and enjoy, looks like a kit, but it's a Marvel. Okay, and that will go in it. Don't forget, this is free shipping, you guys. Look at all this stuff you're getting right to your door. Kyle, I'm so happy I came in here and everyone is playing nice. Not what? Okay. I don't know what's going on. Especially with comments like that from Kyle. I don't know. I'll find 
Not right now, though. As long as I didn't do anything wrong. Here is a... It's called a Hanger Pack WWE Trading Cards. You're going to get that. You're going to get this. 12 cards. Do you want the year on them? Probably, right? Three wrenches needed? All right. I'll look. You guys can go ahead and bid on this, even though you don't have wrenches, and I'll give you the wrenches in a minute. Sorry. Denise, you okay? Okay, this one says 2022 on it. So that's not an old one. That's a new one. This one says 2022. That's a new one too, also. And then I had one more here. Two thousand twenty, two thousand twenty one NBA. This one's basketball. And that's it. So if you like to sell toys and games, it's gonna be going out in one big box. And that's everything. Put your highest bid in. I'm gonna get a bin, gonna load it up. Highest bidder is gonna get it all. Don't forget, you guys, Valentine's Day is coming up, so people will still be buying toys. All right, here I go. I'm going to count it down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and we are going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold. And this is how much stuff it is. It's a big box. And Jay gets it for $149. Thank you, Jay. The big box of toys. Yeah, it's a big box. All right, Jay. 149 for the toys. Thank you, Jay. Congratulations. That's lot number four. All right. Can you put this in the bucket with the toys that I just put right there? All those toys. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, um, I hope you guys have everything worked out. I'm sorry I didn't pay more close attention to it. Um, that was the last of the Star Wars toys, honey. That was it. Okay, let's do this as... Um, I have a ton of toys done at the storage unit, though. A whole ton of them. I don't know if I have Star Wars, but... 
Let's do this as a one-off for my one-off people that just want to buy a little something. Um, it's really awesome. I thought of Castaway Girl when I saw this, of course. And it is Alpaca, Mexico. And as soon as I see a number in the chat, I'm going to count it down. It's a really pretty bracelet. This is lot number five. No. I'm going to try to mix it up. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try to do... Um, Yes, I, can, I have some vinyl Adam, uh, albums, Greg. I'll get them next. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. No, it's, al it's alpaca. So alpaca is like a metal alloy with silver in it. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and we're going to be sold. Some people love alpaca. Uh-oh, Marilyn's lagging. Castaway gets it for 40. Thank you, Castaway. Congratulations. I'm going to do another one. This is the one Angelina was trying to steal. This one has a big piece of abalone in it. And it's marked alpaca. And these are not cleaned, guys. I'm sorry. I don't have time to clean. Gregory, I'll go get the albums in one second. I'm just going to do this one. Don't I need wrench need people okay can the people that sent registrations can you say um can you say hello so i can see let's see holly diana l fig are you here scott um dana okay dana i see yours so here's your wrench And welcome, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then Holly, I see yours, honey. Thank you. Welcome to the crowd. Everybody, make sure you welcome in all the newbies. And Greg. Greg, Greg, Greg. Oh, you sent it last week. Okay. All right. Thank you. That helps me find it. Thanks for being here, Greg. And there you are. All right, Greg and Holly. Holly, did you send it tonight, honey? Let me see. Yes, you sent it tonight. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You guys are awesome. Thank you for coming in. And I'll fig. All right, I see yours too. And here's yours. And Scott H. Scott, did you send it in like last week or something? I don't see you that you sent it in tonight. Scott H. I don't see you, Scott. Scott H. Let me look down at the bottom one more time. Mm, I don't see your registration, Scott. Hi, Janet. Kenneth Young. Thanks, Kenneth. Let me look. Sorry, guys, just take a minute. Talk amongst each other for a moment. 
Kenneth, I got you, honey. All right. There you go. And let's see, Shannon. Hi, Maddie. How are you, sweetheart? Shannon. Okay, I got you, Shannon. Here's your wrench, honey. <laughs> Toby Gill, everyone here is so kind. Thank you, Toby. Did you send in a registration, Toby? Am I looking for you too? Or are you just watching? I think you said you were just watching last time, which is fine. I'm glad that you're here. Um, okay, Elfig, I got you, Scott H. I didn't see yours, Scott. All right, we're back. Okay, let's do this one. This is alpaca as well with the abalone. Thank you, Penny. Beetle gal, what are you saying me too for? You've had a wrench for years. Beetle Girl, did you send me money to send out your order? You usually do. I looked at it today and I'm like, I gotta look it up. I don't know if um if hi Ann's mom, how are you, honey? Welcome in. Would it fit? Hi Peter. Would it fit a bigger rest? Well, I know this one, this one's kind of small. I'm, I'm going to show you, Melissa. I have a, a really big wrist. And um, shipping is free, Janet, with um, with a $40 purchase. I have a really big wrist, and that's how it fits on me. It's tight. See? Look. It's tight. So it's made for, this one is made for a smaller wrist. This one here that I think... I don't know who bought it, Castaway Girl? Let me see. Yeah, Castaway Girl. This one is bigger, see? See, but I have a really big wrist. See, this one fits bigger. So this one is for a smaller wrist woman. Okay, as soon as I see a number in the chat, I'm going to count it down. Lot number five. April Dallas comes in at 10, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. I'm sorry it's dirty. My gosh, you guys, I just don't have the time. I'm so sorry. And it's sold, 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 and it looks like it's going to KK for 20. All right, I'm going to go get some albums. Oh, KK, you don't have to do that, honey. She's got so much so sweet thank you oh. Bo. Bo. kk just bought this for you because you were admiring it in the chat no uh, uh she just bought it for you i know i thought you said thank you well you have to say thank you come out and say thank you what Come out and say thank you. She doesn't think it's I know she doesn't, but she's like that. She's generous. 
I'm not gonna come on camera. No, you don't have to. She's like not really. She's KK. The men would probably love her to come on camera, but she's not gonna come on camera because she's not dressed. <laughs> Kyle you says not hi, Bo. Do that, KK. Thank you so much. You know who KK is? She sent us those T-shirts with the funny looking character playing the ukulele yeah, you remember yeah, that's who kk yeah. is yeah thank you thank you kk thank you so much <laughs> okay really go ahead take it away it's yours <laughs> oh thank you so much thank you that was very kind of you okay i'm gonna stay on the camera because i'm gonna show um some albums let me see i have a stack right here And guys, again, these albums, I have not gone through each and every one of them. But if you come across one that may have a scratch on it or something, just reach out to me and I will, um, I'll make good on it. Okay. Um, all right. Your first one is Billy Idol, Rebel Yell, Billy Idol again, um, The Clash. And I'm really bad with bands, really bad. This is the greatest rock and roll hits, Twist and Shout, Louie Louie. This is probably a good one. Um, Mark, Don, and Me, 1969 to 1971. I don't know who that is. Mark, Don, and Me. Does anybody know? I have no idea. Maynard Ferguson. The album cover on this one is really cool. And here is Elvis Presley, GI Blues. So I guess this is like a mix. That's Grant Funk. Oh, hey, Kelly. Look at how handsome he was. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. This album, my parents used to yell at me because I played it over and over and over again. I couldn't stop listening to this album. This was my favorite album growing up. <laughs> Beach Boys, Endless Summer, you guys remember? Loved this album. Oh my gosh, talk about... It doesn't even, I can't even say it brings back good memories because my parents used to yell at me, turn down that music. <laughs> I loved it. I loved that album. This one is um, Dog and Butter, Dog and Butter, oh, Heart. It's Heart. This one is Heart. And this one is Bob Dylan's Greatest Tits. And it's got that on it. It looks like, I don't, I don't know if that's part of the album or if somebody wrote on it. Um, what's wrong with Dawn now? First concert I ever went to. Saw the Beach Boys Snowstorm Lake Placid. Hi, Anita. Hi, honey, how are you? Thanks for coming back. It's nice to see you in the chat again. Any tooled leather purses? I missed the sale. Yes, Janet. I'll definitely um, sell some. Absolutely, sweetheart. Uh, another one of my absolute favorites, but this was like later. This was more in my teenage years. The Doobie Brothers. And here's uh, something new, something new, The Beatles. Here's a Beatles album. And here's another Beatles album. And this one is the Manhattan Transfer. <gasps> Chris the Goose! Chris, I was, oh my goodness gracious. I was just looking at your order. I'm like, I'm just going to send out those bracelets. They've been sitting on the shelf forever. And I'll send them out tomorrow. Chris, it's so good to see you, you guys. Chris the Goose is an old, old friend of mine. And when way before I even did auctions with tea, 
Chris and I would get together and we would do auctions on my channel and pull all nighters. <laughs> we used to have so much fun and kisses to Kimmy. Mwah. Hi, Kimmy. They actually came to visit me. Um, Chris, was it last year or the year before they came down? They're, they're in Texas. So Chris came down three years ago, and then I think they came down together last year. They came to the reseller cottage. It's so good to see you, Chris. Oh, so good to see you. Please give my love to Kimmy. I hope you guys are good. We, we, we need to chat. We need one of our old, long, sweet chats. We would call each other sometimes while he was going from a like, job site to job site and and chat on the phone back in the day so much fun right melissa right did you stay up with us <laughs> that night there was one night that we pulled an all all nighter i mean there was one night <laughs> there was one night i was on the i was on with chris the goose and i was that's when i was working from home i i was set up in the dining room and oh my gosh we would laugh we would have so much fun and i was there jill hi jill <laughs> and jill and chris the goose met because i had a meetup down here um like two years ago and jill came from the west coast chris the goose flew in from texas it was awesome and um my husband kept poking his head around i had this like partition behind me and my husband kept poking his head around because he could hear me laughing hysterical right chris and i were having so much fun and he'd like poke his head around and he'd be like are you still auctioning are you still working like you could hear me having so much fun <laughs> oh my gosh and then the and then we watched the sun come up oh my gosh it was crazy okay this next one is called sweet level headed i have no idea I have no idea who this is. California Nights, Silverbird, Dream On. I don't know. Um, this one is High Voltage, Danger. I'm so bad at this. I need I need tea or Saxton. This one's called Fire and Ice. And then we have Elvis Presley, the legendary magic of Elvis Presley. And this one is Band on the Run. Band on the Run. Oh, is this the Beatles? How come? I don't know. I don't know who this is. Okay. And then I have... Uh, so what, Joe Walsh? So what, by Joe Walsh, and Melissa Melissa Manchester. Hope is on the way. Joan Baez, the Moody Blues, and the Moody Blues again. Oh, and they're heavy. I'll give you a count. And the Moody. That's an awesome album cover right there. Isn't that great? Okay. And they're all in good condition. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gypsy, what are you into? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20. 23, 24, there's 25, 25 all together, 25 albums, and Melody is at 60, put your highest bid and I'm going to count it down, the trash comes tomorrow, yes, yes, and there's a bunch out there you need to bring out, 15, 14, What's sad? Oh, Barbara Walters just passed away. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, right, Marky? Three, two, one, and we're going to be sold. Careful, careful, careful. You're going to have to look that. We're going to be sold, sold, sold for the albums, lot number six. And it looks like Greg is going to get them for 90. $90 to Greg. Thank you, Greg. Lot number six for the albums. First win for Greg. Congratulations, Greg. No, it's instant pay. Greg, always goods and services. Never um, friends and family. Always pay me goods and services. You can just pay up top. And I will get these out to you right away. Thanks, Greg. All right, let me go put these right into the shipping room so that they're out of the way and put them on the shipping table. Okay, so for you crafters out there, I have this. This is either personal use for crafting. Um, Wendy's asking how much shipping is. $40 free shipping. And this is what I have. Oh, so we make payment without invoice. It's okay, Anita. It's fine, honey. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I, I, I thought maybe you didn't know that. Can you do the dark purse at the very top in the middle section after the crafter's lot? Yes. That one there? Yes, I will do that one. Okay. Let me put this on the table and show you what I have. And this... I don't know if they're new, if they're used. Let me pull up the camera a little bit. Um, I don't know if this is a reseller lot or if this is for a personal use lot. But we're going to look at it and see. Plush after purse. Okay. Just the, just the few that's up here or did you want a whole plush lot? Because I can do a plush lot also. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's in here. I'll open that up in a minute. So these are the cartridges for this Sizzix. A lot, please. Okay, Marky. So there's that one. And this one doesn't look like it has. Oh, it's. So there's this one. Or is it this one? No, it's this one. And this one looks like maybe they tried them. Oh, some of these don't have covers, you guys. I'm sorry. My first time looking at them. This looks like this looks like it's a file folder. Can you see it? There's that one. And then Here's some more tags. I pretend, so it says a tag red. Oh goodness, KK, don't eat too many. Here is a carriage and more tags. But they don't have their covers, so it's going to be hard to sell these. Some of them look like they have their covers, so I don't know if there's any crafters in the chat that have this machine that wants to buy this. This one is a mailbox. These are tags again. This one. Oh, 
Uh, these, these two books, I'm sure they must line up with something. Here's a present, if you can see it. There it is. There's a present. This one has its packaging. This one's a little girl. So that one you could probably list. Does it have a barcode? No barcode. So you have to look it up. This one is clothes for the little girl. This is hair for the little girl. And here's the little boy. And I think we had the little boy, right? That was like the first one. And here is like a door or something. Cut and fold. And oh, that's, we have that. We have this um, paper in here. We saw it. One of the first papers I pulled out. Oh, and here's the mailbox paper. And oh, we have this one too. And there's the flower. We have the flower paper also. All right, that's all in there. And I'll show you what's left in this bag. And in this bag, we have all right, so here's some new stuff that you could possibly list. There's that one, happy birthday. So these are all new, these cutouts. These have never been used. There's that one. This one probably would be a popular one. Everybody loves gingerbread men. There's a gingerbread man. And then here's a pretty one for Easter time. Okay, and that's the whole box. All right, and what do we have for a high bed? You did folly. <laughs> Should I count it down? Marilyn comes in at 27. Thank you, Marilyn. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to be sold. Lot number 7. For the crafters, I'm going to call them dies because they're like die cuts. Vintage chick is at 48. Oh, Marilyn, I'm sorry, honey. And vintage chick for 48. All right, vintage chick. Thank you, honey. All right. Oh, that's okay, Heather. Raw. This is heavy. Next is lot number eight. And we're going to run this purse next. And then I'm going to do one of the embossed ones because someone was asking for one of the embossed ones. 
So this one has the cow on the bottom and all this work, and I'm going to put it on the other camera so you can see it. There's your work. There's your cow. I don't see any imperfections on this one. We had one last night. This needs to relax because it's been in a bin. We had one last night that had some imperfections on it, but this one's in great condition. They are called steel die cut dies. They work with a die cutting machine. Yep. There's, um, this is just from, it, it probably was laying on a buckle. Thank you, Vintage Chick. Thank you, honey. American West is the company. And I'll show you. Oh, this one has, they don't all have them. Some of them do. This one has its dust cover. Leather for a lifetime. Very beautiful. And it smells amazing. And then here is genuine leather, all handmade. And let me show it to you on camera one more time. It's got this fringe little tassel on one side and it has a adjustable um, strap on the purse. It has two pockets, one and two in the back, and then it has a big zippered pocket inside and two more pockets inside as well. <sighs> it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't smell as overwhelming as it did uh, last oh not last night I didn't go on the night before it was like intoxicating the smell <laughs> I know I know I don't know maybe because well I had it was all leather remember the other night it was all leather so tonight I have some other things up there so it's not all leather like it was the other night so, okay, I'm going to count it down 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, <laughs> Gregory, not all out, Gregory, it still smells amazing, <laughs> 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three and this is there's it's not damage it just needs to relax it's from being in the bin two one <coughs> and we're gonna be sold we're gonna be sold 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 <coughs> gonna need an intervention peter peter i'm gonna need you uh next week I think I'm going to try to go Sunday. Oh, I started to tell you guys. I'm buying a collection of Yadros. Folly got it for 50. Thank you, Folly. Um, but Peter, I'm going to I'm going to unpack some of my banana boxes. So, and I'm going to be bringing some art too. I haven't even touched any of my art yet. I haven't even started unpacking it. Um so, priceless china or gloss, I have no idea, Peter. I have no idea. Yes, from the from New York. Yeah, I have a ton of it. I know, T was selling it. I figured, you know what, I'm going to let her sell some of it, and then um, I'll start selling some after. So that way, you know, when we're on together, you know, it's like if she's showing one thing, I like to show something different. So we're not, even though we have different things, I don't want to bombard people with like all art or like all pocketbooks like I did the night before. I'm always here to buy your priceless goods that aren't over sniffed, <laughs> Peter. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'll try not to snip the artwork. Okay. So this is going to the Follies. Awesome Follies. I'll send this out with your other two bags. And... Um... Let me get some plush and we'll do a plush lot just to mix things up. going to be a big lot. It'll be kind of on the smaller side. Okay. Yes, Shannon, I'm going to show some jewelry for sure tonight. I have some beautiful jewelry. I'm going to try to do a little bit of everything. Okay, so, uh-oh, she did poo-poos in her pants. So, her her drawers, uh, do they come off? No, they don't come off. You're going to have to try to spot treat that. I didn't realize um, it had, it's from the Disney store though. It's a him. It's not a her. Wait, it's a him. No, it's a her. Wait, I think I'm confused. There's high heeled shoes, but isn't that Mickey? Is that Mickey dressed in drag? I think it is, you guys. Honestly, I I think it's Mickey dressed in drag. It's not Minnie. That is not Minnie's face. That's Mickey's face. It's Mickey with high heeled shoes. Oh, it's Minnie. Look at the eyelashes. Oh, all right. I didn't see. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> all right. Sorry. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was Mickey dressed in dress. It looks like Mickey. Doesn't that look like Mickey? I mean, the minis that I've seen are like, like they're cute. All right. Wait a minute. All right. Okay. Okay, stand by, stand by everybody. Hold on, hold on. Okay, all right, all right. Lacey, Lacey's walking by the computer and she's like, she's holding on to her. She's like waiting to see what I'm gonna show. All right, look, this is Minnie. This is Mickey. There's clearly a difference. You don't see the difference in that? Look at the nose. Everything about it is different. <laughs> it's Minky. <laughs> I don't care if they're different makers. This looks like a boy. This looks like a boy. This looks like a girl and has nothing to do with the bow in her hair. This is Mickey dressed in drag. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Cat D. Yes, it's a dress. It's a dress. It's a dress. Okay, and frilly, it's got frilly, it's got frilly little panties on, so maybe it is a girl, but I don't know, had me fooled there for a minute, you guys, sorry, I didn't mean to cause such a disturbance in the chat, I'm sorry, Janet, Janet says that's sick, I'm sorry, Janet, okay, her jacket is a bit, a bit to be desired, oops, I'm off screen, Oh gosh, 
is Janet mad at me? Because she said that's sick. Oh, Janet, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult anybody. I was just kind of excited. All right, so there's her. She's the Disney store, but her jackets, you know, I don't know. She needs to be washed. That's all I can say. And there's her little counterpart. And then I have this adorable little Winnie the Pooh. Did she leave? Did I upset her? I think she's new too. Oh, Courtney's going to be so mad. I got to watch myself. Oh, perfect. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Be my sweetie on that one. And then I have a Peanuts. Oh, it's applause, you guys. If you see applause out in the wild, always buy it. Applause is good. Usually anything applause sells really, really good. There's Snoopy. And then this, these were really trending this Christmas. You know what this is? This is the Hallmark. Now, it needs batteries. I didn't replace the batteries on it. I'm hoping it will work. But you're going to get that in with it. And and people are collecting these. And they uh, these will sell all year round. And for those of you that don't know this, if you see these out in the wild, buy them. Yes, Hallmark rules the holidays. Yes, these are um, very desirable. And then there's this one has a rattle in it. And this one is also a Hallmark, which is great. The black and white Mickey. And then this one is beautiful. Um, these are her tags. She's like Chinese or something. She's all written in Chinese, so good luck looking her up. It's all Chinese. Oh, for heaven's sakes, that was the cutest. Donna, why are you bringing the cutest? I don't need any more plush. Look at this one. And she's um, she's by this company, so you're going to have to look her up. I think that she's, uh, I think that she's special. Just saying. Daniel! <laughs> you love his heels. So there's that one. And then I'm just going to tuck these up into her dress. So that's where you'll find them, okay? They're, don't forget, they're in there. So if you can, when you photograph it. And then this, this seems to be very special to me too. And I don't know anything about it, but I can give you a minute. It says Cotton Candy LTD. RD, it's a 656 of 2000, and it's a pink, beautiful pink fuzzy bear. Let me show you. Adorable, right? And it's numbered. So if you're quick at looking stuff up, it's called Cotton Candy. LTD BD 556 of 2000 and the name on it is hold on I gotta put my glasses on the name on it is Ron Bonifato Ron Bonifato B A N A F A T O Luckman, New Jersey. It's the Mulberry Bush Bear Collection. 
the mulberry bush bear claw. Anthony, that steamboat Mickey, the original first appearance, I believe. Super cool. Awesome. Good morning, honey. This one's beautiful. I don't know what the deal is with this one. It's it's all jointed. It's all jointed. I think that this might be something special. And I think that Chinese one or Japanese one might be something special too. I'm going to count it down. Yes, Christine. Yes. So there's a beautiful collection of plush for you. Vintage Chick is at 55. Does it smell like cotton candy? No. Actually smells a little bit like men's cologne, to be honest with you. Smells good. Okay, we're going to count it down. Erin, you plush almost went out today, honey. I missed the UPS driver, so I just put it on pause because it's got to go out UPS. Okay, ready? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Kat D, thank you for your bids. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, thanks, honey. Three, whoopsie. Two, one, and we're gonna be sold for the plush lot. Sold, sold, sold. Oh, Melanie. Melanie, you need to refresh. Tony Patano got it. Tony Patano for $78. Tony P for the plush. Oh, Tony, you're going to have to let us know about the, um, the Chinese one and the, um, the Chinese one and that that pink one, they both look very special to me. Okay, let's put these babies away. Just make a slip for it real quick. And while I'm doing that, let me pull one of these beautiful purses off the shelf. And you can look at this. And I'll give you a close up look in just a minute. There. All right. Let me just make the slip for this one second. We're going to count it down, guys. So put your bids in when you're ready. This is all hand tooled. Hi, Nance P. It's got two different, it's got that beautiful Southwestern um, emblem on it. It's got two different color tans of leather. It's got the rivets on the bottom. It's American West. It's got the handgun compartment in the back for concealed weapons. It 
Uh, Christine Rose asks if that's real turquoise. Uh, that is a good question. I have no idea. Kind of looks like it, but I have no idea. What's the smell level? Let me see. Oh, it's delicious. And, oh, this one, hold on. Look what it says on here. We haven't looked at, I haven't looked at it. It says American West Worksheet Repair Worksheet. The lining, 2017. Let's look at the lining. Let's see if it needs repair. Looks perfect to me. I don't see anything needing a repair. Long strap. Um, it has a zipper on the top and it has those straps. Let me show it to you on camera so you see how big it is. So that's the size of it. And it's beautiful the color on it, it might have been repaired or maybe, maybe they didn't like the lining that went with it and they call it a repair because maybe they wanted to pick. Oops, I'm all blurry. Do I look blurry, fuzzy? Do you feel boxed in, drawn? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta do this and it will come back. Oh, didn't come back. Let's try again. It will come back. You have a buzz ball. <laughs> you mean a goofball? <laughs> I'll show it, Lynn. It has a pew pew stash. It does. There I am. I'm back. <laughs> okay. So this is what you're bidding on. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> All right, ready? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, lot number 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And this beautiful purse is going to be sold, sold, sold. Who won it? Toy for 55. Congratulations on your first purchase. All right. All right, that goes in there. And let's put this over here. And let's, let's do this wallet. This matches a purse somebody bought the other night. I can't remember who bought it though. If I had realized I would have matched them up. I don't know if the person's in the chat that bought this purse. I, I want to think it was Pink Cat Polish. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's fur on the outside. Genuine leather. And there you have it. There's the back. There's the lining. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, it's really pretty. Anybody that loves Western, it's beautiful. 
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. Yes, with the hide. It's beautiful. We're going to be sold, sold, sold. And Marilyn comes in at 32. Thank you, Marilyn. It's lot number 11, Marilyn. All right, my next lot is going to be a crafter's lot. So what a crafter's lot is, is bits and pieces of jewelry. It might need a clasp. There's some beads in there. There's some glass. There's, um, this is a, this is a brooch that's missing. Um, I don't know if it's alpaca or if it's silver. Uh, I think it's alpaca. So it's bits and pieces of jewelry that you can make your own jewelry. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Tiger's eye. Do you have any more? Um, any what? Nylons? Yeah, other than the ones that are here. No, those are all of the pantyhose and nylons I have that okay. are here. I have lots of like that kind of stuff at the storage unit. If you can wait, I do have to go. I can't go tomorrow. I'm too busy. I, I can go. Um, I can go Sunday, but at that point, just oh, to go. No, it's good. I, I don't know if you can find that stuff at like TJ Maxx or something. Look how beautiful. Tiger's eye. Okay. There's a bracelet in there. It doesn't even look like it needs to be restrung, but you can restring it and make your own stuff. So this is uh, just a crafter's lot. It's a piece of glass. A necklace. Okay, as soon as I see the first bid in the chat, I'll count it down for my crafters. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to be sold. Those look like crystals. They shimmer so pretty. It doesn't even close. It's too full. Tonya H for 28. And she has cottage cash.
All right, congratulations, Tonya. Nice job. Okay, let's do this first. I'll show you how big it is on the screen. So it could probably be definitely a crossbody. Hey, Craig Wolf, how are you, sweetheart? I'll put it back on this other screen so you guys can take a look at it. And there's the bottom. It's got all that beautiful tooling done on it. All that beautiful work. With the studs. There's the inside. Okay, Lisa. It's a, it's a Marc Jacobs. Well, the hot pink one is. Uh-oh, you have strep throat. Oh, goodness. Let me just adjust this a little bit so that I can... And there you have it. I'll count it down as soon as I see a number in the chat. It does, doesn't it, Anita? El Fig comes in at 22. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And we're going to be sold. And Mr. I buy Chit comes in at 37. All right, Christopher, thank you, sweetheart, and congratulations. Thank you, Christopher, for your payment. Okay, one, absolutely, honey. What you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for the shopping. I don't know which pink one um, you want to see, but I'll show you this pink one first. So pretty for the spring. It's got kind of golden straps on it. And the name on it is um let me put my glasses on. Spartina. Spartina 449 and Castaway Girl. Look what it has on it. I got to show you. It has a mermaid. And this is the inside of it. Oh, there's a little bit of something in the lining down there. See it? Just a little tiny bit of dirt. 
and the lining. Spartina is the name. It has a little bit of dirt in the lining. It's got two outside pockets, one inside pocket. It's very kind of like Lily Pulitzer inspired, don't you think? It's in perfect condition. It's so pretty. Very pretty. Pretty in pink. Fifteen. Hi, Mr. Talisman. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to be sold for the Spartina bag. Sold, sold, sold. Very Florida. And Castaway Girl wins it for $37. Lot number 14. Wait, come back here. <laughs> she just snuck away with something in her hand. Let's <laughs> see what she took. Ooh. That's beautiful. Let me see that. I don't know if it matched my outfit. Oh my though. gosh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Preston and York. This will match what you're wearing. It's beautiful. Look at this is what she walked away with. She's she's she snuck away with it. <laughs> it's a golden purse. <laughs> this will look beautiful with your outfit. Think so? Absolutely. It's perfect. And it's brand new with tags, too. It's gorgeous. For you, it's cute. <laughs> it's a perfect size, too. Yeah. It's it's New Year's Eve. You have to wear a sparkle. I know. Thank you. Okay. Um, is there something? Oh, the crab one. This is really awesome. This has a tag on it. Shirley, Chicago. Shirley, Chicago. It's a clutch. This is all embroidered. Uh, I don't really think it was the point. Like, what the hell? Is that our No, it's all in. Oh, it's not boring. No, no, it's not boring. We're going to talk a little. I'll count it down as soon as I see the first uh, yeah. number in the chat. Lynn comes in at 10. 15, 14, 13. We have blue crabs here too. Um, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
and we're going to be sold. Because the colors are awesome. This is lot number 15 for the crab purse. And it looks like Erin won it. Erin for 20. You guys want to see some toys? Is there anybody in the chat that's interested in small toys? I, I don't even know what's in it, so we're going to look at it together. I know you wanted some jewelry, too. And then I have all those makeup pouches, too. Do you want to see the makeup pouches? I mean, Lacey worked so hard on them. I want to see small toys. All right, I don't even know what's in this box. Let's see. We could sell it as a mystery box instead of showing each item. What do you think of that? Is that crazy? I'll show it to you. I'll show you what I got. I haven't even opened it. I have no idea what's in it. It was just the way it was found came out of a storage unit. You want a blind bit on it? Or you want me to show it? I'll do whatever you want. Blind bed. All right, blind bed on it. You get what you get and you have no regret. There's a couple of pieces. I'll show you just a couple of pieces and that's it. It's, it's a big box, you'll say, look, this is my hand, so it's it's a good size box. All right, I'm going to count it down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to be sold for the toys. Toys, toys, toys. Oh, I don't know what happened to Gypsy's bed. She did come in. She did come in, but look at how it came up. I think she came in before. I know. But it's like her computer went cuckoo. Um, okay, I think it's only fair that I'm going to open it back up. I think it's only fair. Okay. Oh, she came in under. I have her on top and I have her live chat. Yeah, she came in before. Does any, do you guys see her before or after? Carrie, are you on live chat? I see her before. 
It looks like her computer went um, kooky. Look at, I've never seen that before. It's the smallest little five I've ever seen. Before. Yeah, but she came in with that little um, five. Didn't you guys see the little five that she put in? Gypsy forgot to refresh. All right, I'm going to give it to Oki, um, Gypsy, if you're okay. She's under. Okay, Oki Treasures, I'm going to give it to you. I just don't want anybody mad. I turned my phone and my... That's fair. Okay, Gypsy. Thank you, honey. I just don't want you to be mad. Congratulations, Oki. Oki Treasures. For 50. For the toys. Okay. I hope you find some good treasures in there. It's going to ship just like this. I'm going to put a piece of cardboard over it, and it's going to go out just the way it is. Um, should we do one of these cosmetic bags that Lacey worked so hard on? Let's do one of these bags and see what's in here. All right, so here's the bag. I'm going to put it on camera, and I'm going to show you what's in it. All right. Now, buyer beware on some of this stuff, okay? Um, so the name of the bag is Tarte, and it's brand new. It still has the coating on it. And... Lacey, I'm doing one of your bags. So I told her to only put sealed things in here. So this is Clinique. And it looks like... It's a pencil. This is Kirkland on it. And it looks like it's a brush. This is Sephora, and it's a brush. Here's some brand new Skittles lip balm, and this is called Blaze Berry Lip Balm. Here's another little tiny brush, and it's um, Precision Face. It's Bare Minerals. Oh, I need this. Can't have that, sorry. This is Insta Gel strips. Those are those strips that you do your nails with. Here is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Here's a brand new dark brown lipstick. You can tell it's brand new. It's never been used. A pair of tweezers and whatever Mary Kay thing that is. A little spatula thing. Here is a peel off clay mask. And next we have a bamboo 48 hours something. I don't know. don't know what that is. Here is a bunch of, what's this? Massage oils. Oh, thank you, Oki. Makeup remover pouch. Working hands hand cream, O'Keefe's, loose eyeshadow by LA Colors, here's a Wen 
cleansing conditioner, another makeup pouch. Here is Murad Retinol Night Cream. I don't know if this has been open. I told her to put only unopened things. And then everything else that's in there. And this will go ground because it has some nail polish in it. Here's uh, another makeup. It's never been used. So the brush is white. Here's a bunch of... There's blue eyeshadow and then like a cream color and then like a white. These look like they're refills to maybe Mary Kay. Those you might be able to sell, especially if they're expired. Uh, not expired, if they're, um, what do you call it, retired. This one is eye cream, R-O-C. All right, did you see enough? A lip pencil, more brand new chapstick, more fingernail polish. So that's what's in this bag. It's a, just a nice assortment of all kinds of um, hopefully all unused makeup because I told her to just put anything that looked like was brand new in it. And a lot of this stuff is shelf pulls. Yeah, discontinued, that's what I meant to say. Because sometimes when you have discontinued stuff, people look for it online. I know I've been looking for a discontinued lipstick forever. And I can't find it. I'm, it was my favorite. All right, I'll fix that so it closes up. All right, we've got Lisa Powers at 37. We're going to count it down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to be sold for the makeup. And the winner is Lisa Powers for 37. Thank you, Lisa. All right, let's go on to Lisa. There's one still on the table. Where? Oh, this? That's This is the leg of my tripod. Is that what you're seeing? There's nothing on the table. Is that what you're seeing, Heather? Okay. <laughs> yes, I'll do another one. I'll do another one. This one. Sure, Lisa. Colored Delights by Maybelline. Mouth a seal. Breathe better through your nose. Looks like it's Asian. See how it's written in Asian? I gotta put my glasses on to see what this stuff is. I know, right, Carrie? No idea. 
This one is called uh, Lizzie Minute Base Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. I don't know. This one is Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. Here is a perfume atomizer. Here's a brush. It doesn't say who the maker is on it. It's got a wooden handle, but it looks like a nice brush. I don't know who makes it though. This is one of those, this is all real stone. It's one of those face massager things. You know, they were like all the trend. Um, look at Caldor. Oh my gosh, that's so old. It's uh, Max Factor, and it is Sponge on Powder Brush Refill. Here is a Brighten Glow Air Blush Airbrush Glow Luminous, brand new, unopened. Next, we have some Revlon eyeshadow, a Mickey Mouse soap, looks vintage, a Mary Kay targeted action line reducer that does not look like it's never been used i will leave it in there but um i would probably squeeze some of that out if you're going to try it bumble bumble bp shining lotion i have no idea it says uh, saturate towel dry hair and blow dry in sections it's for your hair this one is Clinique Custom Repair Serum. Here is a mascara. I don't trust the mascara either. I'm gonna throw that out. Don't need anybody with eye disease. Um, Prime Time Bare Minerals Primer Eyeshadow. Three Steps Buttercream Hydrating Lip Mask. That's brand new. Here is a Flawless Face by Bare Minerals. And this one, oh, it's uh, EOS. You know, the it's the lip balm. It's brand new. Okay, so that's everything in this cosmetic pouch. That mascara looked new. Yeah, but it wasn't sealed. I don't want to take any chances. Linda is in a 20, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There's not one on the table. And we're going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold. There's not one on the table. And Mal comes in at 24. Thank you, Mal. And Mal has cottage cash. We'll send it out with your purse, honey. Okay, I'll do one more and then I'll move on to something else. I'll do one more cosmetic case since I see that there's an interest. Let's do um, let's do this one.
This one is, the case says Trina on it. It's really packed. And it has on it a Freeman Polishing Charcoal Black Sugar Gel Mask Scrub. Peel Off Clay Mask. Estee Lauder Skin Toner. The Oxygen Peel by philosophy. She showed me this. Just, I think it's brand new. I don't think it's ever been used, but, um, you know, you can't sell it. You're going to have to, uh, use that for personal use. Oh, these bare minerals are all sticky. Um, this one is Red Therapy Magic Press, another Estee Lauder. Here's a brush. Here's a lip balm. Here's another lip balm. Those are brand new. And there's a little brush in there. These bare minerals, you can't sell these guys. I, you know, you could almost reach out to the company and maybe the, the case on them is breaking down, but it's, um, it's a compact and it's brand new. It's a brand new bare minerals, but the case on it, I don't know. Ozma told me a way to clean them, but I don't have time. There's a way to clean those so that they're not sticky anymore. I don't know if she said to use um, alcohol or there's a way to clean it. But they are brand new, but the plastic on them is breaking down. But Bare Minerals is a great company. I wouldn't, I would probably consider even reaching out to them and, and telling them. Here is a farm stay real avocado all in one cream you think it's rubbing alcohol anita i don't know it's brand new on that and then look it's loaded you guys i'm not going to go through each and everything it's just loaded i'm just going to count it down highest bidder is going to get it all this stuff, it's gonna be like a mystery pouch of stuff. You get everything in this bag. And I can't even close it, it's so packed. I'm just gonna probably have the kids do it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and lot number 19 is going to be sold, sold, sold. Thank you, Lynn. And the winner is Carrie for $34. Thank you, Carrie. And Carrie has cottage cash. All right. All right. What do you want to see next? You want to see more purses, more makeup, clothes. Oh, you know what I did find? I found, oh, let me show you. Can we do the black bag with the silver Thunderbird? Yes, and then I'm going to go get, I, I found, um, 
this one here, Bonita. The fringe needs to be relaxed. So you're going to have to relax the fringe on it. Mel wants more makeup. Shannon wants jewelry. Okay. Let me give you a close-up look at this. So the back of it is all hand-tooled. And it has... A great big huge pocket in the back and there's your awesome Thunderbird and there's your unrelaxed fringe the top of it is really beautiful work on it and then the inside The zipper, the zipper's broken. Oh, no, it's not. That's open and that's closed. Okay. And there's your mark. And then it has, it's, it's got a really big compartment there. And then it's got two pockets here. And the bottom of it does not have the rivets. This is the first one that doesn't have, didn't have the rivets. It's just the leather is, it, you, you need to stuff it. You need to stuff it with something so that the leather will go back into shape. And Janet wants to know the size. I'll give you the size and then I'll start counting it down. The size is... Um, 10 inches by seven and a half inches. And I'll give you an idea. <clears throat> this is how big it is compared to my head. I do, Lynn. I'll show you what I have. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. We're going to be sold, sold, sold. Lot number 20 to Anita for 55. Thank you, Anita. Okay. Lynn, I have more. Um, I have more vintage linens at the storage unit. I'll try to bring some for next week's show. I probably won't be able to get to the storage unit tomorrow, but Sunday I will. So maybe for Sunday night. Crossbody. Um, we may have sold all the crossbody. I don't see any more crossbodies. We may have sold them all. 
You do, Erin. Oh my gosh, I've had so many. I had, oh my gosh, I had so many beautiful vintage linens that I got. I still have some. Okay, let me show you what I have. I have this one. This is linen with the lace. So pretty. And then I have this one. You can tell these are all handmade. Now, you guys remember these, right? I don't know if they're back in style or, or not, but this one looks like it has a couple of dark spots on it, but there's one. Two, three, and four. And I think these are I think these were homemade. I think they're beautiful. I think they were homemade. And then these. How beautiful. Do you think these were machine made? Mary? Oh, you think these were homemade? There's that one. And then this one's a little bit different. That one's oblong. This one's round. And then there's that one, which is kind of in between oblong and round. And here, I'm going to move this over so that you can see how beautiful this is. Look at that. Oh my gosh, is that so beautiful? There's that one. And then I have these napkins with the butterfly on them. And I have one. No, there's more than one here. Wait a minute. They're just all folded together. So there's one. Two, three, four. There's four of them here. That's four and one, two, three, four. So there's eight total. Eight total of those. So beautiful. And then I have this runner. I don't see any stains on it. And then I have this runner, little doily one. And I'm gonna move these. And then I have this pretty little one. Now this one to me is machine made. This one, this one looks like just a vintage, like machine made one. That doesn't look like it's homemade. Then I have this napkin with my DNA on it. And then I have this one. And this one. And here's another beautiful handmade one. And this is a bread basket one. You know, you put it in a bread basket. And then you put your warm rolls in it. And then you fold it up so that your bread stays nice and warm. There's that one. That one. And that one. And there's your linens. And we have KK at 30. I'm going to count it down. Do you need a count on it? Or are you good with what you saw?
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. And Mystery DA snuck in at 36. Congratulations, Mystery. That was lot number 21. Okay, guys, tell me what you want me to run next. Any other special request? Pam pins. Let me see if I have any made. Chezzy's been slacking on the pins. Chez. I've got Pam asking for pins. Pam, Angelina hasn't taken off that necklace since she got it. She absolutely loves it. Shannon wants a jewelry lot. All right. Let's see if I can pull together pins and a jewelry lot. I'm so, my jewelry is like all over the place because I'm still building um mystery jewelry lots let's see 1230 mystery ga oh i already did a slip for that didn't i hold on one second All right, let me see what I have here. Oh, this is beautiful. Do you want, um, Shannon, do you, do you want like individual pieces of jewelry or do you want a lot? Because I offer, I can offer up a $75 jewelry lot. I have, I think like two more to do. Let me know if you want like a mystery jewelry lot. I can put one together for you. Look at how beautiful this is. I don't know what it's made out of, but I gotta show you. Let me see. It says $82 on it. This came from New York, from my antique store that I, oh, it's Bone Jade. Bone Jade is what this is. It's beautiful. And that $82 price was from Um, Lynn, let me check and see what I have because I don't even really know what I have. She just texted me about doing a linen lot. Marky says any silver lots. I have, I do have a lot of silver, but I want to have it tested before I bring it to you. It's a Santa face on it. Not a Santa face. I don't know what kind of face it is. 
looks like some sort of, I have no idea. I don't know, they're turtles. I don't know what it is, but um, as soon as I see it, um, as soon as I see a, oh yeah, I see a turtle right there. I see the turtle back. Oh yeah, and those are the turtle fonts. Yep, you guys are good. You guys are really good. Aaron comes in at eight. All right, I'm gonna count it down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to be sold for the beautiful jade piece is going to be sold, sold, sold. And it looks like Marilyn's going to win it. Marilyn for 39. Congratulations, Marilyn. Marilyn Blatt, lot number 22. For thirty nine dollars, for the jade, I think that's a great price. It was pretty. Oh, Melissa, you're so sweet. Thank you, honey. Oh, Betty Webb, thank you, honey, for being here. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at you guys. Oh, gosh, you guys have no idea. You have no idea. That means so much to me. All right, I'm going to do some of these. See if some of you that bought some purses, if um, the turtle is a symbol of longevity in Chinese folklore. That's awesome. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Shiny. Thank you, Clear Water. You guys are awesome. All right, let's see if I can have some interest in some of these. Maybe some of you that bought purses would be interested in buying some of these. And... Um, these are all matched, uncurated earrings. Good night, KK. Thank you, honey. All matched, uncurated earrings. As soon as I see a number in the chat, I'm going to start counting it down. And I don't know how many pairs are in here. We just load them up. Just load them up with matched earrings. Each pouch is different. Tanya comes in at 5. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to be sold. We're going to be sold, sold, sold. And it looks like Marilyn's going to get it for 21. Thank you, Marilyn. Lot number 23. All right. Let's do that again with this one. Okay. 
What are those birds? They look like birds, right? Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to be sold. Lot number twenty four. Earrings. And it looks like Marquis is going to get it for 18. Congratulations, Marquis. And I have something here for you. I just don't remember what it is off the top of my head right now, but I know I have something here for you. <laughs> Why is Marilyn saying 29, not 29? Twenty, you're tw you were twenty one, lot number twenty three. I don't, I don't know what Marilyn is saying. You're welcome, Marky. Here, let's do it again. Good night, Castaway. Thank you for your purchases on your bids. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Donna, I was typing all over the place. Laugh a lot. Good news. My big box coming tomorrow, according to the post office. Can't wait. Oz. Awesome, Marilyn. Um, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold to Melody Bells. Thank you, Melody. And I have something for you here. So that will be awesome. Include that in. I think I do anyways. That was lot number 25. And I grabbed one more. It's mostly silver. Some blue. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to be sold.
Lot number 26 is going to go to Penny Smith. For $21. Okay. Here's another beautiful purse. It smells delicious. <sighs> yes. Another delicious smelling purse. And it has feathers on it, and it's all hand tooled. Oops. There we go. Oops, it's still lagging. All right, there we go. There's the emblem on it. There's the feathers on it. And it has the studs. There's the name. There's the detail. Uh-oh. So this is missing the zipper hook. But fear not. Hold on. I have an idea. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Oh, this is Christmas. Hold on, we don't want to use Christmas. Here we go. So if you're buying it for resale, it's a problem. But if you're not buying it for resale, and you're buying it for just you, I'm going to fix it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's completely broken. I can't see it's, it's completely broken. I was going to put this on it, but the zipper pull is completely broken. So I don't know how you would fix that. I'm still going to sell it. It's just that this, this zipper part here is um, maybe you could take some sort of pliers and uh, but you're not going to be able to resell it. You're going to have to just buy it for personal use because the zipper is broken on it. And it has a dust cover. And you could just always just leave that open and just put your water bottle or something in there. The inside's nice and big. Yeah, pliers would probably fix it, right? I think so. It's still beautiful. It's still a beautiful purse. Let me show you how big it is. There we have it. And we've got Patricia at 30, so we're going to go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. Lot number 27. Brown purse with damage. Oh, Sherry doesn't care. You know, neither did Nora. Right? They're like, that's an easy fix. Sorry, Nora. Nora, how, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. 
I hope you're well, honey. Donna, can they move the feather to the back? What feather? I don't see a feather. Oh, this feather? Yeah, but the zip the zipper part of it is um is open. You can get a zipper pull for two dollars at a craft store. Easy fix, Anita says. Anita, you're so sweet. Anita always finds the positive in everything. You guys, if you're not following Anita on her channel, you need to go follow Anita. She does auctions on her channel and she does bring really beautiful jewelry. Anita, is that all you do is jewelry? I try, I, I do get a notification once in a while when you go live. I think that's all she brings. All right, this is going to Sherry. <laughs> Sherry V. And it is for 50. Let's see what Anita says. Hi, Cynthia Johnson. Welcome, man. She says, I'm late today. You are, Cynthia. Let's do another crafter's box. Yes, she does just jewelry. And she has some really beautiful pieces. All right. This is another crafter's box, you guys. You know what I mean by that, right? Everything in here has a little bit of an issue and needs some attention. Those look like glass beads. Dawn made this one. When I see a number in the chat, I'll start to count it down. Black bag on wall, okay. Patricia comes in at 35. She comes right in out of the gate. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, hi cat, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. I hope you had a nice time, cat. That's nice that you went to a friend's house for dinner. Good for you. And Shiny Squirrel and then L.A. Thrifter for 45 Thank you, L.A. Thrifter. Thank you for your bids, everyone. Lot number 28. All right. All right. Let me see now. Um, all right. Help me out here. You want to see... We're trying, Marky, the black bag with the red trim. Oh, this champion? This one here? It's a backpack. It's actually a really awesome backpack. And it's a champion, and I think it's brand new. And it's got some padding in it. Um, so I don't know if it's to be used with a um, 
And what is this? This says Savannah, Georgia. That was inside of it. I will leave that inside. That's just a little nylon. Um, and there's nothing else in it. And it's like brand new. Looks like brand new. Champion backpack. Light, very lightweight. Is this what you wanted to see? Okay, Anita, honey. All right, if you're interested, put a number in the chat and I'll count it down. It has side, it has side mesh pockets on both sides and has the zipper in the front. And it's it's beautiful. It's like brand new. I mean, I, you could, if you were a reseller, I would list this new without tags. That's how perfect it is. It's in perfect condition. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to be sold. And this is lot number 29. That looks like it's going the champion backpack. It's going to Mr. Markey. Oh, got some more bids in there. Marquis is going to get it for 15. Thank you, Marquis. For $15. You're going to love it. Thank you, everyone, for your bids. It's, it's really, really nice quality. It's beautiful. Okay, let's do this one. And this is how big it is. Official measurement of the auction. Thank you, Margie. All right. And let me bring this up and adjust this. I brought it up too far. All right. I'll show you the work on it. Oh, Donna C. Mary's comment, Donna, hold on, da, da, Donna Heather has it as lot 27, lot 27 was the brown purse to Sherry V, 28 was LA Thrifter, 29 was Marky. Maybe she was lagging. Mary, what? 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 Donna, your lot numbers are off. How could she have it as lot number 28? LA Thrifter was 28. Let me see. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, Heather, you're off, honey. Listen, I'm going to start with 21 went to Mystery DA, 22 went to Marilyn Blatt, 23 went to Marilyn Blatt, 24 went to Marky, the earrings, 25 went to Melody Bell's earrings, 26 went to Penny Smith earrings, 27 went to Sherry, brown purse, 28 went to LA Thrifter, and then... 29 went to Marky. I think I'm right. Shannon says you got off at 24. 
Yes. Okay, we're good. It's okay, honey. I appreciate you watching out for me. All of you. I appreciate all of you. It's okay, honey. Thank you. Okay. So here it is. This one, the zipper works perfect. There's the lining. Oops. No, you don't, honey. You're good. You're good. You're, you're doing a great job. And American. And there's the studs on the bottom. And there's all your beautiful hand-tooled cacti painted green with the stitching. And then there's the stitching on that and that. And that it's got a nice and big inside. It has a piece of thread in it. No dust cover with this one. Anita comes in at 30. It's really cute. I think we had like three of these, all different colors, didn't we? Let's see if I can get it to stand. So I can move the camera up. You are doing awesome, Heather. Don't worry about it. You do rock, you do rock, Heather. You're awesome. I appreciate the help so much. All right, I'm gonna count it down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Oh, you did, Anita. Seven. Six. Ah, <gasps> look who's here. Schreiker, you're a little bit early. What are you doing here? Five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to be sold. We're going to be sold, sold, sold. Everybody missed Schreiker. Aaron's at 50. And are we sold? Look at everybody so happy to be Shriker. They're not even, you guys aren't even paying attention to me anymore. Shriker's like ruining the roast in the chat. So for everyone that doesn't know who Schreiker is, Schreiker did a lot of modding for me for a very, very long time. But um, you are Schreiker. Look at No one's even paying attention to me anymore. They're all like, Schreiker, 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 Schreiker. <laughs> I told you everybody missed you. He took a little hiatus. He, he does a lot of eBay listing and Amazon listing, so it's good to see you, Shriker. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. I don't remember the rest of the words. Did we sell the purse? I don't know who won it. Shriker came in and disrupted everything. See you all in January. Happy New Year. That's what he said to me. Aaron B won it for 50. Thank you. That's what he said to me. I'm like, where are you? People miss you in the chat. He says, we'll see you in January. I'm like, January? LA Thrifter paid but forgot lot number. Well, shame on you. Don't worry about it, LA Thrifter. The lot number was 28, honey. I got you. 
All right, Cactus Purse goes to Aaron V for $50. All right, let me make a slip on it. Only two days away, right, Saxton? That's right. And then he'll be back harassing the chat again. No, I'm joking, Traeger. Everybody's happy to see you. I told you everybody missed you. Okay. This one is really beautiful. You guys, this one is gorgeous. I love this one. Look at this one. Isn't that awesome? And... I'll give you a close up on it. That's really beautiful. All right. Donna, I would like a mystery box for $75, but don't say out loud. Okay, I didn't say your name. Okay, Frank. Frank, I can do a mystery box for you. For $75. You must be buying it for your wife. That is so sweet of you to buy jewelry for your wife. That's so nice. She's going to love it. That is such a nice gesture, Frank, to be doing that. You are so unbelievable. I really, really like, I admire a man who would buy jewelry like that for his wife, like as a mystery, like and just giving it to her and letting her open it up and just being so surprised and just loving everything in it. All right, Frank, I'm going to write down your name right now. Let's see, to Frank. All right, you got it. Guys, everybody say thank you to Frank in the chat. Like, we need more Franks in our world, honestly. <laughs> I could do that, Rabbit. <laughs> rabbit. I could do that. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> what a guy, right? <laughs> Rabbit. I need a Frank in my life, right? We all need a Frank in our life. No problem. Rabbit girl. All right, wait until you see how beautiful this is. Oh, okay, but do you want that to be our code word for you, Shiny? Let me just start calling you rabbit. <laughs> All right, look how beautiful. Okay, so this one has the um, the little, you know, thing, the little hangy thingy. But look at how gorgeous this is. Come on, you guys. This is so beautiful. Don't you agree? The work on it. So beautiful. Saxton, I actually made three after I hung up with you today. Three of them like really made like three beautiful ones. I was really surprised at myself. I was thinking to myself that the people that were getting the, the notifications that they were uh, being made and, and shipped out, they must have been thinking, this one's nuts. Like she's going live in an hour and she's like doing printing, printing shipping labels and making mystery jewelry boxes. If you guys could see, I'm gonna go take a picture. I'm going to take a picture of what I'm up against. I'll be right back. I want to show you.
This is, this is not even, this is probably half of what I'm trying to go through and what I'm trying to deal with. You see all those bags? The jewelry is in all those little baggies. Like you guys, you guys know, hi, K, hi, little K. You guys know, cause I used to just bring the baggies and you open them up. Some of them were broken. Some of them, like the beads were missing. Some of them, the clasp was missing. So now like they're all over the table everywhere. Like you don't even, you can't even like really even see like here, like look at. You see it? It's a fiasco. Like it's not as easy as things are not like perfectly laid out that I can just like go, oh, here's a, a $75 jewelry box order for Frank. Let me, you know, I have to like untangle, check the clasps, like make sure I know Shannon. It's insane. It's insane. I made a huge, huge purchase, huge purchase. And the stuff is all beautiful. I mean, I think I've had like two people upset with jewelry boxes, to be honest with you. But when you consider the odds, they're mystery jewelry boxes. When you consider the odds that I've sold probably, I don't know, in upwards of 25 or 30 of them. I mean, that's not really, maybe even more than that. That's not really bad odds, right? I have help. I have Dolores helps me. Camille helps me. Dawn helps me. I don't have like a full-time employee. Massimo's like kind of half a full-time, but he'd rather be out doing like things that like he does, he does things around the reseller cottage too. And he'd rather be doing like, like he changed out the toilet and he fixed some plumbing issues that we were having. Um, so he'd rather be doing like that kind of work. Like I'm having him put a plug in the mud room next. Like he knows how to do electrical work. And then the girls help me. And Jim G came down and helped me. I'm waiting for him to come back. I hope he comes back soon because he was a tremendous help. Who am I forgetting? Janea. Janea comes to help me. So I I have a I have like an on-call crew of people that I can call. And you know, Nancy helps me. Nancy comes over and helps me all the time. She'll sit over there at the table and help me. Okay. I don't know who that was that just texted me, but um, just let me know. And um, who else? Abraham and Megan come over and help, right? Clearwater, they come over and they've helped. They're so funny. Like they'll come over like on date night. They'll go out to eat and then they'll come to the reseller cottage and they'll sit there at the table and like go through jewelry and untangle it. Megan loves to untangle jewelry. So anybody who comes here to visit needs to sit in <laughs> cottage company. <laughs> it's crazy. The kids do it. The kids come and they sit and they, you know, they, they do it. Camille. Yes. Camille comes. It's good. It's all good. So I don't have like a, I don't have someone that's like, you know, like full, I don't have anybody that's like full time every single day, but I do have a lot of people that I can lean on. Like today I did shipping all day by myself, which really sucks. Um, yesterday I did it all by myself. The day before, um, Dawn was here helping me ship, which was great. Jill, Jill hasn't been here in a long time, but Jill, Jill came and helped. Oh, when Susan was here, I wonder where Susan is. She's, she hasn't been in the chat. She was interested in these purses. Um, she, I think she said she didn't get a notification. You guys, did you guys get notifications that I was going live? If you're not getting notifications, you need to unsubscribe and then resubscribe. 
Oh, little K, you know you're always welcome here. Did you see the email I sent you? I sent you a little note in the email. Yeah, Jim, Jim G took jewelry home. He took a bunch of questionable silver. So, you know, I buy I buy silver like in bulk and then um I sold a piece that was not silver. I did. That was Mark Silver. So you got notified. So I'm not selling any more silver until it's verified. Because I don't want people, like, can you imagine the if I got that reputation? And I sold it to someone who is an old-time customer and um, has come back many, many times since then. Um, but can you imagine if a non-real piece of silver got into the wrong hands, like to the wrong person, and they went, like, blabbing around YouTube, oh, she sells fake jewelry? Yeah, it was marked, Kate. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would be, that would, that could ruin my channel. Seriously, it could ruin it. So I'm not going to, I ha, I have a bunch of silver. I'm not selling it until I can um, verify that it's real. And I have to buy a test kit. As a matter of fact, Camille, she's probably watching on her TV right now, so she's not going to respond But because um, she probably has me on the TV. But Camille was supposed to come down today, but then she had a change of plans. I think she had a hot date. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I said to her. I acetized all my sterling. I know, Peter. You know what? It's so hard for me to like. Um, when Jim G came down, he was he was acid testing. I took my acid tester out, and I hadn't used it in like three years. And I and I took the bottles and threw them all away. Um, and he was acid testing and. Um, he acid tested one piece that I had and it came up that it wasn't silver and he took it home to use his acid test. And he, he sent me a message and he said, it is 100% real. I'm waiting till you see this piece. It is unbelievable. I test everything. Some unmarked are actually authentic. I mean, the only thing I can do is I bought one of these earth magnets. And that's the best I do is I just, but like Marilyn Blatt said that some alpaca, which is not all silver, won't stick to this. So if it's got a heavy silver plating on it, even though this is a, an earth magnet, um, Mary says, wow, that's a first for me. I am so naive. What, the things are marked silver and they're not? That's how they get away with it. Get away. I always test a piece you know is real before testing anything. Let me see. What did, what did Mary, well, that's a first for me. Fakes everywhere, Mary. Even hair dye. It's crazy. Even hair dye? Hmm. All right, let's go back to this beautiful purse. Let's sell this purse. It's gorgeous and it's big. And it has... It has just a little pocket in the back, but it has a zipper, so it has a nice big zippered pouch, and then it has this little pouch. A lot of China and some Italy stamped 925 is where you have to be careful if it if the look of it is off and the China um a little teal purse behind me oh it's a little vera bradley i bought a fake kate spade purse shame on me i learned from it oh 
gosh. You'd need an acid tester, Carrie. Don't know what is the little, I read that. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's really funny because um, I wonder if people are, um, so I, I was looking, I'm on automatic delivery from my I, eight o'clock coffee. Um, I ordered it on Amazon and I'm on automatic delivery for it. And the price went up from the people that I get it from. So um, I went looking for eight, eight o'clock coffee um, from other vendors on Amazon. And one vendor was relatively a lot less expensive than some of the other vendors. And I thought, hmm, how, you know, I wonder how they can get away with selling it for so much less. So I started reading the reviews and um, the reviews it, it, from, from the sounds of it, they were taking like the eight o'clock coffee bag and like filling it with chock full of nuts. No, I don't know. I don't know what kind of coffee, but like less expensive coffee. Like people were writing in the reviews that the coffee didn't taste right and that it had a terrible bitter taste about it. And if you drink eight o'clock coffee, um, I drink eight o'clock coffee. Um, I, like it's so smooth. Like when you drink another coffee, Candy Cane Joe, Joe's are to die for just saying. Huh. Always read seller reviews, especially on third party sellers. See, Johnson, how can you tell it's a third party uh, seller? Because so I ordered I ordered coffee from um, an, another vendor uh, because it was a little bit less expensive. And it, the, the package came from like, a, it had a, I, I got a package with a woman's name on it with a Miami return address. Like who's sending me a package and who lives in Miami? Like I'm thinking it was like one of you guys. Like who lives in Miami? Like the only person I know that lives in Miami is Marilyn Gotti. And I'm like, I don't know anybody else that lives in Miami. And I, I opened it up. And it was my eight o'clock coffee. And it was just like, oh, yes, little K, I understand, honey. Um, so it was obviously like a third party vendor. I have many subscriptions through Amazon from toilet paper to vitamins, my Starbucks, K cups, and my barista oat milk creamer cat food, dog food, soap, etc. I do too, like automatic delivery. No, Clearwater, I got the package from Donna. What was it that you got in the package that you loved? From Trader Joe's, candy cane, Trader Joe's are to die for, just saying. Oh, the JoJo's. The JoJo's, hold on, I'll show you. This is what she's talking about. And I don't know if they have them year round, but these are these are the JoJo's from Trader Joe's. So Carrie, I'm gonna send you a box. I'm gonna send you a box um, as a thank you. I really appreciate it. And Heather, I got a box for you too, honey. So there's two boxes left. One for Heather and one for Carrie. So I'm going to send those out to you. I don't know if they have these year round, 
But um, yeah, I love you too, Carrie. Thank you for all the love and support and all the help. So I'll send those out to you ladies. I love you guys. I couldn't do this without you. Red dirt devil. I don't have the vanilla ones. So you're not getting a box. <laughs> no, but seriously, you guys, Trader Joe's is really honestly just right. Yes, they have them year round. Okay. It's really honestly like right across the street from, um, no, not yet from the reseller cottage. So if anybody wants everything that, um, sent mine to carry also, Oh, Heather, you're so sweet. Really? Why? Oh, <laughs> all right, Carrie, you've got two boxes coming out. <laughs> I'll find something else to send to Heather. I'll find something nice to send to her. Yeah, you, like I said, if you guys ever want a sampling, it doesn't have to be just cookies and chocolates, but if you want just to, like, they have, um, they have that spice that's, um, what's the name of it, you guys? Those of you that have the Trader Joe's near you, the kids love it. Um, everything but the bagel. Is that what it's called? I don't, I have to go look. Everything... Uh, good night, Shannon. Yeah, everything but the bagel. Yeah, people buy it and they put it on, on like Amazon and stuff. Like people that don't have Trader Joe's near them, they're like addicted to that stuff. But I could, um, you know, put together like stuff like this too. I'll show you. Hold on, let me show you something that's absolutely delicious. This is like a staple, it's something I buy all the time. So these are, um, this is, these are like in the non-refrigerated aisle of Trader Joe's, right? So I'm like, I should be a spokesperson for Trader Joe's. I'm not kidding. Like I don't stop. So these are, they're marinated olives duo and they're with lemon and herbs, right? My mouth is watering. And so this is, these are the olives and they're just like in an aisle, like they're not refrigerated. And so what I do with these is I, I wash them. Like, I don't really love, so they've been marinated in their herbs, right? And that's great. So they have that flavor, but it's a little bit too pungent for me. Trader Joe's won't deliver. No. Mm -mm. So it's a little bit too pungent for me. So what I do is I take this and I put them in a colander and I wash them. I literally like wash them. And then I put them in a, a like a glass, like Tupperware thing. And I put. 100% virgin olive oil, fresh garlic, and some sprigs of rosemary and salt and pepper. And I remarinate them with my own goodness. And delicious. They're so good. And they're not even that expensive. I think, I think this is maybe $5 for this packet of, um, of olives, which I think is great. What? Your mouth is watering. She must be talking about Thor, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> My mouth was watering. Just thinking about the olives. They're so good. I love the shaker of the powdered Hidden Valley dressing coat veggies with, oh, yes, it's so good. It's so good. You know what else is really good is their cheese powder is so good too on salads are you taking tomorrow off no i'm shipping all day tomorrow night tomorrow is tomorrow new year's eve is tomorrow night new year's eve if tomorrow night's new year's eve yes i'm taking it off 
Yes, absolutely. Yeah, no, I won't be on tomorrow night. I'll be on Sunday night. I'll be on Sunday night. Oh, Pam, so good. Oh, you did. Oh, you will carry. All right, let's sell this pocketbook, and I'm probably going to say good night. What do you think? Was anybody interested in the last pocketbook of the night? When I see a bit, I'll count it down. Beautiful Southwestern styles. Um, are there any more wallets left? There isn't. They're all gone. All the wallets are gone. There's a fossils wallet. There's a makeup case like you bought, but there's no more wallets. There's an eyeglass case, a makeup case. All the wallets are gone, honey. Yep. All gone. I'm sorry. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. Lot number 32. Good night, Shannon. Thank you, sweetheart. 57 to Jayski. And I think Jayski won it. Yes, I can run it. Thank you, Jayski. Jayski, did I did I mail your package already? Oh, Francine, I'm sorry, honey. Francine loved it. Yes, I can. All right. That was a beautiful purse. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful purse. It's Marc Jacobs. And the hole inside of it is all Marc Jacobs. And it's like a nylon. It washes. Unbelievable. It's like a, a nylon. Like, uh, look at how beautiful it is. And it has, it's all embroidered. Isn't it beautiful? So I had a black one of these, like I said, and I used it so much. And it's got two side pockets, one and two, and it's hot pink and it's it's gorgeous it really is gorgeous yeah it's like parachute material yep and it's got an inside pocket jay ski your lot number 32 honey um it's just a big assortment of beautiful jewelry on that on that neck. No, you weren't a red dirt picker. It it has a little blemish right there. It probably will come off with some spray and wash because you can wash these. I know the color is like really uh, go by Donna. Carrie said 31. I'm on lot number 32. No, I'm on lot. Let me see. Jay Ski won the last one. This is 33. Oh, because of Frank. Frank got the, um, Frank bought the jewelry box for his wife, remember? 
That was lot number 31. And Joe Ski won that purse, but I didn't write down how much he got it for. I didn't write it down. But I tagged it, but I didn't write it down. 57. Okay, is there any interest in this? And the Mark Jacobs? Fifty-seven pesos. Yes, thirty-two for Jayski. No pesos. Kate comes in at twenty-five. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and the Mark Jacobs is going to be sold, 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 sold. Looks like April's going to get it for 32. Thirty-three to Kate. Ooh, Kate. Sneaking in with that extra dollar. She's getting the hang of, hang of it. All right, Kate. Congratulations and thank you everyone for your bids. Lot number 33. Oh, lot number 33 for $33. Oh, Pam, let me see. I, I do have some. I do have some. I do have some. She's been asking. Pam's been asking, and I've got stuff that i got to send out to her. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to run that bag for Anita. See if she wants to buy another little cosmetic bag. And then I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna do some pins for you, Pam, because I want to get your order out too. And if I put the pins in it, it will help with shipping. It's really kind of neat, this little cosmetic bag. Let me show it to you. So that's what it looks like. Okay, honey, I will. All right. All right. So this is what it looks like. It's all hand tooled. And it's all plastic inside, like the other one. It's all lined. Um. Penny, was it over $40? It's free shipping, honey. Let me see. Lot 26. Earrings 21. Penny, if you if you want me to send them out to you, the shipping is like $4. $4.50, something like that. It depends on where you are. Otherwise, if you want me to just put them on the shelf and wait until like after Sunday night and see and see if you buy something else then if you spend forty dollars you'll get free shipping unless you want me to just send them out to you like right away it's up to you anita comes in at 25 15 14 they're cute with the little flowers right 13 12 11 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to be sold. Lot number 34. Oops. Makeup case. To Aaron. For 32. Oh, I'm sorry, Anita. 
Okay. Okay. Um, thank you, Penny. All right, I'm gonna mark down to ship them to you. Want to you want them shipped tomorrow? I'll ship them tomorrow, honey. If you pay for the shipping, I just marked your slip. Erin, it's lot number 34 for $32. Okay. All right. Let me show these pins. If you guys have another request for anything in the back there, let me know. I'll do them in a lot of three. So I have this one, POW, Honored Veteran, Hospice Veterans Partnership. This one is, um, I don't know what this is. It's a metal. See, it's a metal. And then there's a, an American flag. I don't know what that says. Looks like a violin. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay. So that's one, and then I have this one, a little poodle, and I don't know, is that a shark, some moose, maybe some dogs, a crab, another shark, a raccoon of some sort. I don't know what that, I don't know what this is. No idea. And then I have this one, the three little kids, the dress. I don't know what that is. Special mother. Is that some sort of whale or something, a pineapple, and then it says mom project. So you get one, two, and three in this lot. Lot number 35 is pins. 15, 14, top shelf, middle section, right corner. Okay, Carrie, thank you. Uh, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, oh, is that what that is? 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold to Pam. Flipping hot finds. And it's lot number 35. For $15. Why is she writing 22? For the pins, just in case somebody came, came in to beat her, maybe. She was putting her proxy in. She was putting her proxy in. She wanted them. Oh, Pam, you're fine, honey. You're good. Don't worry. You're such a good customer. Don't worry, honey. She was up bidding. I know, Marky. She's awesome. Okay, which one um, did you want to see? The feather one or this one? There's one, two, three. There's four left. That's it. They're all gone. That's not that's not one and that's not one. 
There's one, two, three, four, and the eyeglass case is all that's left. Which one did you say, Carrie? Top shelf, middle section, right corner. That one? Or that one? Oh, that one up there, this one. This one is this one here. It's really beautiful, but it is a um, Kenneth Cole. Oh, middle section. Well, she, do you want me to run this one? This is a Kenneth Cole one. It's like pebbled leather and patent leather. Let me see. What is that? Oh, that's nothing. It's just coming off. Look how beautiful this is. And it's a Kenneth Cole. No, you don't want me to run this one, Wendy? One on right side of hat. That, that's, that's a creative memories box. Oh, that one? Okay. That's a designer purse, I think. This didn't come from the same collection. I think this is a hand-painted, um, I'll tell you the name on it. Um, B-O-T-A-R-Y. B-O-T-A-R-Y. It's got a dime in it. We'll leave it in there. That's it. The whole inside. If it is leather, it doesn't smell like the other leather bags. Someone sniffed all the leather smell from it. I don't know if it's leather. Oh, I'm going to say it is leather because of this. I'll show you. Oh, my camera's way down. Hold on a second. Okay. All right. I'm going to say that this is leather because... So this is the name of it. Is that B-O-T-A-R-Y? And this is, see, it's leather. These are from the 80s, and they are leather. Okay, thank you. And that's it. It's got a nice big pocket in the front. And then there's the there's the design. It just doesn't have the leather smell like the other ones. It's pretty cool, right? You guys interested in it? You you could probably wear it as a crossbody, like a messenger bag. Because the strap is pretty long on it.
Mr. GA comes in at 20. It's fun, right? I'm surprised my daughters didn't see this. This is like totally my daughter's style. She totally would be carrying this, like really groovy looking. Bottery hand painted vintage leather purse. Ah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, it looks like it's um, painted. It's in really great condition. I don't think anybody ever used it. Someone sniffed all the leather smell off of it back in the 90s. A lot of sniffing going on back then. <laughs> right, Peter? <laughs> 15, 14, 13, 12. It's all beautifully lined. See it? 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and we're going to be sold. It is a great bag. It's really pretty. They are art. Yeah, looks like art. Really beautiful. And we're sold to... Looks like Mystery DA got it for 35. Thank you, Mr. DA. <laughs> there was a lot of sniffing going on. <laughs> Lot number 35. Lot number 35 for $35. Okay, before I say goodnight, is there any other purse? Look at, we, you've got me wiped out. Is there any other purse? That one is absolutely gorgeous. And there's one more. This is actually a Michael Kors um, shirt. I, I did prepare a bunch of clothes that kind of ran out of time. But there's... Um, this one, this one is beautiful, and it has the eagle on it. And then this one, should we do this one? This one is amazing. This one is so beautiful. Look at how beautiful this is. The whole entire thing is hand-tooled. The whole entire thing. This is This is like walking around with, like, a piece of art. It really is. It's like walking around with a piece of art. Let me show it to you cl up close how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Look at this. Bam. Look at the beauty on that one. Holy cow. I think this is my last tooled one I have left. It's super, super beautiful. So it has this nice big pocket in the front. And then it has another nice big pocket on this side. And there is your American West. And what I love about it is it zips up. So if you, you know, keep all your valuables nice and safe in there. Let's take out all of this bubble wrap. I'll use the bubble wrap so that they would stand up nice. And look at how big. This is really a big, beautiful piece. I don't know, Clearwater. I don't know if they make boats. It's not going to stay. I don't know anything about this company. Nothing at all. And it smells delicious. I 
All right, I'm going to start counting it down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, oops. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. Lot number 36. Sold, sold, sold. Francine's at 65. And we're sold to Francine. Thank you, Francine. For 65. Thank you, everyone, for your bids. Yeah, we'll probably have a nice dinner. I, we're not going to go out tomorrow night. I hate going out on, on New Year's Eve. It's just so dangerous to be out on New Year's Eve. It's bad enough I have to worry about the girls going up to Jacksonville. Oh, they're going up to visit a friend of theirs in college. Massimo, I don't have to worry about. Him and, him and Lola will be snuggling up for the night. I don't have to worry about him being out driving around or dealing with crazies. I just got to worry about the girls. Should we call it a night? You too, Cheryl? Yeah, we're just going to, we'll probably get like, you know, steaks or something and just throw them on the grill and some cheese and crackers and probably watch like Elf again. <laughs> my husband loves to watch all of those kind of like cartoony um cartoony um movies he loves like anything silly like national lampoons vacation it's so funny because he's he, he sits in front of the tv he's just like a different person he just laughs and laughs and laughs and laughs and when he's not in front of the tv he's a little bit of a grouch and just saying <laughs> that's my fear as my girls get older they only have three and four years to be 18 years old it's scary it's like it opens up a whole a whole other wor world of scary like at least my girls stayed home I saw Elf for the first time on Christmas Eve. We were watching Elf on Christmas Eve. Oh, it's the Honeymooners Marathon. Oh, they, um, at least they stayed home and didn't go away to college. Like, I can't imagine, like, some of my friends, their their kids are away at college. And, like, sometimes my, my daughters will be like, Mama, look at what so-and-so's up to up in college. And, like, they have, like, private Instagram accounts like so their parents don't see the pictures like, oh my gosh and then what do you do call the parents and tell the parents or do you like you know then you lose the trust of my own kids that they're sharing stuff with me do you know what I mean it's like catch 22 like I wouldn't want the parents like to come back to me and say you knew about that and like you never called and told me you know what if your daughters are not telling you like what business is it of mine to tell you it's not my fault that you don't have the type of relationship with your daughter that she doesn't tell you everything my daughters tell me everything everything like sometimes i have to go like la 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 i don't want to hear about it <laughs> and they'll laugh at me and they're like will you tell us that you want you want us to tell you everything i'm like 
Yeah, but not everything. Like, you don't have to tell me everything. But they do. They've always told me everything. So I can't be responsible for other parents and the relationship that they have with their children. I'm already taken on a huge responsibility. And I have for years. You know? Yes, I'll be back Sunday night. Not me, Carrie. I didn't tell my mother and father anything. They were too wrapped up in themselves anyways. They were just wrapped up in themselves. I mean, I had a great childhood. Don't don't get me wrong. My childhood was phenomenal. You know, didn't want <clears throat> for anything. Didn't want for anything. Donna, thanks for a great night. I managed to get four boxes of jewelry sorted ready for tomorrow and your big box is coming. Yay, Marilyn, awesome. But they were never involved in, you know, my life, other than me working for my father. Like, that's as, as involved as I was in, like, their life, you know? Besides that, it was, you know, I mean, we took vacations and stuff, but... Years fly by so fast. I've been so open with my daughters. They have friends who have come out to their friends and know, but they haven't told their parents. Well, I think that's one way. I'm very open with my daughters, and you know, I've told my daughters everything. And I think that's I think that's one way of earning your kids' trust too, is if you're open with them <clears throat> and you talk to them about your life experiences, then they're going to be open to you and talk about, you know, um, their life experiences. Thank you, Cindy. Happy New Year, honey. Donna, it's our age group. We are raised so differently than, oh, where are you? You just skipped. Than the way we have raised our kids, probably. My parents were so strict, I would have never made it if if it. I was told what I did. Oh, I know, Francis, my parents were very strict, too. Very, very strict. That's why I never told my parents anything. <clears throat> I love that Matt confides in me. Since I am a single mom, I have to take two roles. Francine, I can tell that you and Matt have such an amazing relationship. My daughters know too much. Born in South California and raised in Vegas, they have seen almost everything. Yeah. Boy, still nothing. <laughs> Mosmo was never really open. You know, really told me. But sometimes it's hard being a dad, too. Francine, you are doing a phenomenal job with that child. Oh, my gosh. I have never met such an outgoing, welcoming, well-spoken, caring young man in all my life. He's going to go places, Francine. You never have to worry. That boy will take care of you forever. He is, he loves you so much. And he is just, I love Matt. Matt is awesome. Matt is awesome. Let me see. If you were my sister-in-law, then Matt would be my, my nephew. He would be my nephew, right? My daughter's very open. I have a close relationship with her. Things are said that I don't care to hear about, but I'm glad she's open to me and she knows she can come to me. That's awesome, Tasman. That's awesome. That's awesome. We need to get back to our roots. You have a happy New Year, Donna, in the cottage crowd. Thank you, Peter. Being a mom and dad is very hard. Heather knows. I have three boys. They talk to me about everything. That's awesome, Francis. Mm. 
Mm, it's true, Francine. Matt is incredible, right, Ed? He is amazing. He's such an amazing, oh my gosh, you've done such an amazing, amazing job. Hey, 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 Francine, you're spoken for. Step away from Ed. <laughs> Marilyn does great listing her jewelry. She does really good. She, she tends to find some gems. Good night, Follies. Tell Kevin I said good night. All right, you guys. I love you. Mwah. We'll see you Sunday night. Happy New Year to all. I'll probably release like a a short or something, just wishing everybody a happy new year. And, um, and we'll see you Sunday night. Okay. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Buona notte.